Hello everybody, my name is Fort Vlogs. Welcome back to another beautiful day and another beautiful recording. Today we're heading in here with PCDO JRP. Um, I know things a little bit are thrown off everywhere on the recording. Um, we got TeamSpeak off to one side, we got everything else off to the other. And it's just for other type of recording I'm doing uh, while I'm doing this also. I do apologize. My SWAT guys, y'all are going to hang outside once we get to the penitentiary. Um, one of y'all just kind of take temporary charge and just kind of get everyone positioned throughout the parking lot and making sure we have all of our angles covered. Because remember, the moment we take possession of them, and pretty much anything is anything can happen at that point. So, And it could start right there at the penitentiary. So, But I've been recording for about two hours now uh, for a side recording that I also need to do for my safety inside the server. Uh, but we're transporting some yes. very high individuals. Uh, once we get there, we are going to like talk to them and give them the warning, place them in shackles. If they do anything, they're going to be like held in restraints or something like that. That's fine. Yeah, I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you handle that. The interface and as you know, warrant squad and all that. So I'll let you handle all that and uh, speak with them. We'll just provide the uh, muscle, get them out into the vehicle, and get them transported. And you're gonna uh, once we get up the steps and inside the courthouse, I'm assuming that you're gonna take uh, possession of them into the main courtroom because you're gonna be um, testifying bailiff. or dealing with them. No, I'm bailiff. Okay, gotcha. I can't. I can't testify because I was in like one of the actual agents, agents or whatever. Okay, gotcha. So, uh, right now, I believe by RP of the charges that they committed while inside jail, starting a riot, they are all in solitary confinement, already placed in stray jackets, so I don't think they should be able to run when we get there, but just place the shackles on them, and it should be good. Because right now, they started a full-on aggressive riot with like 15 officers when they got to jail the last time. They're all in instant stray jackets in RP. Hi, Future Julian here with a uh, couple of notices. Um, it's a good couple hours since um, I did this whole entire video of five hours worth. Um, to be honest, I'm just going to uh, change a few things here and there. Uh, why is because, as you see, I think if I did this correctly... Up until this point, um, it will have be all jumbled. Um, uh, cause you'll see a team speak, you'll see the top right with OBS and then you'll see my face. Um, for the rest of it, you most likely won't see my face. Um, you'll hear me talk about it later, way, way later. Um, I just don't have enough time to get to that point and kind of fiddle mess with it to fix it and make it look all good. But for the most part, it will seem bleh in the sense of quality wise I do apologize that's just because I'm using that clip that you just seen and focusing on the actual GTA roleplay um, otherwise uh, if you notice any changes ignore them I do apologize uh, if I had more time on my hands I would do more editing for this but well you know time comes into play and it's not fun but yeah enjoy the rest of the RP bye bye mm -hmm. Do you want uh, um, units with uh, normal ground units to be running lights while we go there or no?
right, let's see how streaming, recording, <laughs> and everything else goes, because I'm going to get a little bit worried now. Doing everything I have open and what I'm doing, I'm kind of nervous. Excuse me. You should have that car as the first one. Bayless, if you want to check, um, uh, brain chat. Yo, Urzra, can you get in the front real quick as, like, the pursuit intervention? You should be first. And then, like, everyone screwed up to fill that gap with Oh yeah. And then uh, everyone go ahead and turn your lights on and stuff like that and line up and I'm gonna try and get some pictures and stuff and put it in Rockstar Editor and then I'll do it once the case is over. If everyone goes to turn the lights on. Alright. Joined your channel. Case. Case. He's going to the bathroom or something. Oh, okay. Oh, he just moved his car. He's oh, talking in here. Go ahead, John. Alright, you guys ready? Yep. And four. Alright, sounds good. So we'll be starting soon. I'll send a message in chat, okay? Of course, sounds good. Perfect. Alright, any other questions, guys? Where? I'm my first. Good. Is anyone else nervous? I do. Yes. <laughs> Matt, I would like to see him try and fight, like, all of us, okay? Has this been the biggest event so far? All right, if nobody has any other questions, we got four minutes, so we're gonna tighten it up. So we're gonna go to modified RTO. So at this time, utilize call signs. However, if you see something, say something, call it out on the radio. As of right now, this channel is now under modified RTO. Also remember, watch what you're saying, game, because everything's being recorded, so. Does that mean no cussing? Well, I believe it's this channel is now put into RTO effects, so RTO to get followers. Kids up. <clears throat> Ooh. I know you guys heard that one. Ooh, that hurt. Alright, 
setting up right now. That's important. Can we get a sound check? Thank you. Five oh two air one. Go. I'm ready to check. Lima Charlie. Tap one up front. Five oh two convoys on the move. I'm not going to lie, I am extremely nervous.
Route 12, all units behind the transport vans remain outside of guard of the prison at the moment. Transport vans, make it tight. Okay. 574, do you want us to make a U-turn outside from whoever's sticking outside? Oh, we're staying out here. Hell yeah. What is he doing? All He's units behind checked. the transport van, please remain outside the prison, including SWAT. Okay, SWAT and other units. We'll go ahead and stage outside so the units that were designated to go inside the prison this time will stage inside of the gate. Six eight four five oh two. Go ahead. Would you like me to stay out here or do you want me to come in? Come on. Can I sorry? Could you stay on that please five oh two? Come on in. Ten four. to confirming that we have MCD inside with us. I intend to, uh, MCD was told to stay outside. Well, not Double inside the in suit. You copy my last? I don't think any Delta unit is attached to the ground board. For three, I got the Delta unit if needed. User joined your channel. I think I'll follow up to. What's your ATA? Confirming Charlie 32 for the door. 10 4. Copy, less than 30 seconds. 10 4. User left your channel. Hey, bomb squad, turn off high beams. Lights are just a wee bit of broken. Five red, five two. User was moved to your channel. S seven four air one. Go. Are you seeing any jets up there? Ten four. Five eighty one. They're authorized. It's Air Force. Ten four.
Hey SWAT, turn off your lights. Or bomb squad, sorry. Hey, bomb squad. Yeah. Uh, do you have high beams or extra lights turned on? Because they are yeah, freaking bright. I don't know which one they are, though. Alright. Are your panels supposed to be open, too? We're on. Oops. Alright, 312 all units. Uh, we're gonna start walking out with the subjects now. Thank you. You're all good. Did, did Case tell you guys where to fall in at? Uh, I, all I know is I'm going to be sticking right where I was, which was behind the LSPD Tahoe, which was behind the transport units. Okay. So it's just you guys, you guys are just assume the same order? Yeah, that's more or less the plan is assume the same order as they come out. If I'm not mistaken, they just got him inside the transport vehicles. Sure, it's very uncomfortable. It's doing something like this, then. Okay, there we go. User left your channel. Hit that freaking tree. Can't About tell one way to approximately do it. one mic. Back to the main parking lot. Oh, that was sick looking. Seen that through the window, that was cool. I just seen that jet fly through when I was in first person. That was awesome. Okay, get ready. They have them coming up to the transport vans. Yep, prepare. Calling send formation out of the SNPD. Same, send same four. formation. Okay. Here, I'm gonna try and scooch over behind you, LSPD. Yeah. Then when the transports come out, uh, you just follow right out. behind them. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. That penitentiary siren is going to drive me bonkers. That penitentiary siren is going to drive me bonkers. Hope you got here fast enough. But my head explodes from me listening to this like siren. My body, if you know what I mean, is doing <laughs> so many things at once. I'm scared that I'm just gonna die out in the middle of everything. <laughs> it's streaming, it, it, recording. Desync, yeah, desync got so bad. Right when we like the van, it got somehow got behind me. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I'm streaming, recording, team speak, a whole bunch of other crap. It's like, okay, let's try not push this too much. Oh, that's a civilian. Is that, who's that? Swat, swat, swat. Okay, okay, I'm gonna just... Oh, that's fucking... Is that you? Brandon, is that you? Is that swat? Yeah. Oh, yeah, swat. Oh, if you wanna go attach to the bear cat. Yeah. Thanks. Three twelve. 12 uh, prisoners are going to be locked inside of the van. We're now going to be making our way outside. Let's go. 
Five seven four. We got a motorbike on the You're Route right. sixty eight road. Chris, my van guy's in front of me. It's number one. Seven four. We'll fix everything once we're in. Or at least yeah, close enough. Here. Put your bike steel boat on. Wait. Is this wrong? These think it's gonna be the death of us all. Five seven four, can we get a cruise control limit set for making driving smoother? Temple, we'll go ahead and set cruise control at 55 on the interstate and then we'll lower it appropriately in city. And far. Have you guys entered the freeway yet? Alright, 10-4, we're about to be uh, making, well, taking the exit near uh, Vinewood PD, uh, south by Mall Santos Freeway. 10 four. We're making the exit into the city as we speak. Steve. All units set crews at 30. Stay in the street race, boys. Stay in the street race. Okay, I know this isn't... It's partially me. Okay, I just have to let go of everything, sadly, depressingly enough, because I'm going to be desyncing. See, you can see the car though, right? Five seven four. Do you want us to DV all of our vehicles when transport is done? Uh, ten four. Uh, 312, can I get someone to come to my van as well to uh, help with the escort and walking them into the yeah, courtroom? 502702. Yep. I need you to take lead and I'm having major in my head issues. Sure. Um, well. Do I have something about the drift it open? Yeah, it's kind of inside the place. Can we say it's open? You're excused. Alright, I'm back here to help. Oh, wow. we got an officer for a oh. Uh, can everyone back away from me as I'm trying to grab them out? Yep. Hmm. 
Okay, I got one of them. Watch out. Oh, I have a weapon. So we're gonna sidewalk side of street in case. Prisoner, nobody. Kevin, Kevin, prisoner, nobody. Is this your truck? Yep, it's mine. Uh, let's deem uh, via or get county tow, uh, so then we're not having so. life issues. Thank you. Good. Okay. Not good. You guys are prisoners. Someone walked in front of me. Counted for it as well as ready to be walked into the courthouse. I can't see, but I'll, I'll try my best. I can't really either. Okay. I uh, uh, you a little bit. Go, go in your, uh, go in no. your head and uh. My vision. Tristan, you got this. Go based off the sun of the steps. Is your vision not seeing? Can't do later. Barely. Vision is harding. Alright, let's go ahead and hold the mouse out of the courtroom for a second. So oh, I can go from the quick pack. Because this one has watch and, uh, watch and stuff on it. Can so I keep my, can can I keep my watch on? I don't know watch, man. Why did they even have that in the prison? I don't get how they had watches in prison. Okay. Right, he's clear. 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 Remember, take off your hats if you're in the. Who's that? User joined your channel. Agent. Hey, you see that one with black hair? Mm -hmm. Have you guys arrived? I sat down on one of them. Careful, we have. So far, if I can have an officer or two to assume the jury of bailiff. Correction, jury uh, of bailiff. 312, uh, I'm gonna be bailiff. Voice. I have to refresh my brain just like one second. Yeah, we're on the wrong I side. I can't really uh, see like anything. Sure. So far, uh, 10 if I can have... we have somebody more available. 506, are you available? Uh, 10 4. 10 4, sir, if you can. Go ahead and make that request good from John, please. So far, 15 to 506, if you're in present in the courtroom, you may enter, ch enter chambers. Uh, 97, I'm able to assume bailiff as well. 15 to, we really just need more. Take off your hat. So, it's Rob, I'm the assumed bailiff by the judge uh, from before the court I just gotta to to refresh my brain and I'll be there in a second. Yeah, before you may enter the chambers as well. 14 to 15. Do you still need jury? Done so. Press in for remember, take off your hats. User you left your channel. Courtroom, anyone else is fine. Five or two have the defendants been transported and transferred to court. Hey, Mrs. Nobody. How are you doing? I do believe that they're going to be inside the Prosecution room. Go to our side. Thank you. At this time, the transport phase is not complete. Thank you all units for your assistance. If you're going to be providing security, bailiff action, or court action, you may stay uh, here or transport yourself up to correction on last. I will move you. Um, which units are staying? I'm on at 7. I'm staying as uh, court security. 7-4, I would like to say, but stay, but I'm pretty sure I'm not here for anything else except for transport. 10-4, it's your discretion. You may leave if you're done with the event, sir. Thank you for your help. 10-2, I want to stay. I can stay if needed. 10 I'm going to leave all units here that are going to be providing out of the courtroom security. Can I get someone uh, with me for this long haul, uh, for security-wise? What was that, sir? Uh, can I get someone for this long haul? At 428, I'll be with you. Grab me an hour real quick.
I was preferring. Uh, yeah, we. Okay, that's yeah, fine. We could possibly. Just, uh, never mind. I was just thinking because of the door off to our right. I was thinking of having someone on that door, off to a door off to the left, and then right here in this hallway. But we got mostly everything covered. Yeah. Alrighty, at this time I will be not ending the stream, but I will be opening up another stream for BCDO JRP, which I will be throwing above everything else, which will be I stand by my stream. Six eight four, I might be saying I might be leaving due to some my issues and other things. User joined your channel. Alrighty. Um. Uh, I think he's in chambers. Mm. He might be in chambers, Kevin. I don't believe he is. Kevin. No, for sure. I'm gonna uh, have him connect to. to Does that anybody get the voice chat in the area? Good idea. User in your channel. Yeah. All right, this will be posted up straight. User was moved to your channel. User was moved to your channel. And this will be posted uh, up. Kevin, Chris is already in chambers. Oh, okay. Perfect. Um, Chris, are you? You're a court reporter. Is that correct? I can't hear him. Uh, I got switched to, uh, bailiff and, uh, stuff like that. Okay. Someone else was supposed to be, uh, removed and placed as the thing. Alright, did you send them what I sent to you? I have not. They missed nobody. Well, yeah, I, I sent it to, I sent him a different thing, um, in order to be our court reporter <laughs> so that he could swear people in for us and all that. I sent him everything to say. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Either okay. Chris or Kevin can do that. No, yeah, no worries. Sure. He can still do it. Yep. I am ready if you guys are ready. <clears throat> it's up to you both, man. I'm all set. You're the lead. It's gotta be awesome, um, to be honest. Lead judge on this, so let's go. All right, Bayless, if you guys want to go out and just have everybody stand and we'll come in. Turn 10 for it. Everyone rise. Everyone rise in the courtroom. Oh, shit. All right, all hats, glasses, uh, anything like that should be removed at the time. Um, anyone who has a phone, please place it away and uh, put it on silent or turn it completely off. All right, gentlemen. Bailiff is all of the jury. Have they all arrived? Uh, is there only supposed to be two juries? All right. Um, I'm supposed to have three, but there's only two, so that's okay. Yeah. All right. So real quick, you guys can go ahead and be seated. Everybody, have a seat, please. Grab a different time. Uh, Everybody, seat uh, go ahead and have a seat, please. We'll get started here. Uh, may I approach the guy with his phone out, hat, and glasses on? Sir, yeah. If you don't mind, we'll keep communications at a absolute minimum unless we need to talk. If that's okay with you. Sir, with the hat and phone out. What's up? Yes, yeah, Civs can come in uh, now, guys. Come on in. Glasses, let's so uh, let's get everybody in morning. before yeah. we get going. Yeah, that way, everybody gets a chance. See, bro. Uh, please remove your hat as well. All right, guys. We're gonna set a little bit of ground rules before we get going. Um, the bailiffs will do their best to kind of keep everything organized. Everybody will be respectful 100%. We will not allow any sorts of profanity or slang slung any direction. Uh, we have permitted use of certain media tools right. for some right. people to use. Yeah, go ahead and have a seat. Thank you. For some people to go ahead and use, that is permitted. Uh, if things start to take a turn for the worst, we'll ask that the media leave. So what we'll start with first is um, just making sure everybody understands the proceedings today. We do have four defendants. All four defendants are going to be tried separately. However, the questioning, they're all going to be tried together. They will all be sentenced separately. 
So the jury will be given instructions whenever it's time for the jury to deliberate, and they will have a form to fill out for each defendant. Uh, before we get going, do we have any motions Agent, or anything that needs to be ruled on prior to proceeding with today's case? Prosecution, do you have anything? No motions, Your Honor. Perfect. Thank you. Defense, do you have anything, sir? Only the subpoena, but I believe it was already approved. Okay, it was approved. Um, prosecution, have you seen the subpoena and the evidence related to that subpoena? Yes, we have, Your Honor. Perfect. And have you had ample amount of time to review that? Uh, more. Yes, we have, Your Honor. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, so we've got that out of the way. At this point, I'm going to ask that all the defendants, if my bailiffs could, arrange the defendants, even if they're in an L shape at the end of the desk, so that they can all face this direction, see the podium, see the jury, and see the bench up here. If you could do that for me, please, bailiffs. For interruption for the kitchen, sorry. User left your channel. All right, that'll work. Uh, any of the defendants not able to see anything they need to see? Do you guys have any issues with being in the correct line of sight? None heard. Uh, defense attorney, can you verify that everybody can see and hear what they need to hear from your side? Yes, that would be good, Your Honor. All right, guys, we're going to start this out. I'm going to give the jury some instructions, basic instructions. This is going to be a step-by-step -step on what the process is going to look like and what your job is as jurors. You three are the only three that have been selected. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and read this to you now. Please make sure to pay attention and hear every part of it. Those who participate in a trial must do so pursuant to established rules. This is true of the witnesses, the lawyers, and the judge. It is equally true of you as jurors. The lawyers present the evidence according to the rules. The judges enforce the rules and determine what evidence may be admitted. It is also the duty of the judge to instruct you in the law, and it is your duty to follow the law as I state it to you, both now and during the trial. Bro, if in these instructions this, or in instructions that I will give you later, any principle or idea is repeated or stated in, var in varying ways, okay. no emphasis is intended, and thus none must be inferred by you. Therefore... You must not single out any particular sentence or individual point and ignore the others, but rather you are to consider all instructions as a whole and are to consider each instruction in relation to all the others. The fact that I give you some instructions now and some later has no significance as to their relative importance, nor does the order in which I give you these instructions. The trial phase, the trial procedure is as follows. First, the lawyers outline in their opening statements what they believe the evidence will be. Then the plaintiff offers evidence. Defendants next, the defendant may offer evidence, then plaintiff may present a rebuttal. The trial concludes with closing arguments by the lawyers and final instructions of law from me, after which you will retire to, the, to deliberate on a verdict. The lawyers will, of course, have no roles in the trial. They will make arguments, question witnesses, and perhaps make objections. Remember that lawyers are not witnesses, and since it is your duty to decide the case solely on the evidence that you see or hear in the courtroom, you must not consider evidence as statements of any lawyers. Any questions yet? There is an exception, and that is if lawyers agree no. to any fact. Perfect. Continuing on. Such there is an exception, and that is if lawyers agree to any fact. Such agreement, called, such agreement fact called stipulation or admission will be brought to your attention, and it will then be your evidence. duty to regard such if fact as being conclusively proved the without the need for further evidence. You will not hear the answer, if a question is asked, and speculate as to what the answer might have been or the reason for the objection. If an answer is given to a question and the court then grants a motion to strike out the answer, you are to completely disregard such question and not and answer and not consider them for any purpose. A question in and of itself is not evidence and may be considered by you only as it supplies meaning to the answer. Your role during this trial is to decide all questions of facts submitted by you. To do this, you must determine the effect and value of evidence and you must not be influenced in your decision. I decided sympathy, to come back to my prejudice. point of view or passion towards any party, witness, or lawyer in the case. As jurors, you have the sole and exclusive duty to decide the credibility of witnesses who testify in this case, 
which simply means that it is you who must decide whether to believe or disbelieve a particular witness. In determining these questions, you will apply the test of truthfulness that you apply to your daily lives. These tests include appearance of each witness on the stand, his or her manner of testifying, the reasonableness of the testimony, the opportunity he or she had to see, hear, and know things concerning which he or she is testifying, his or her accuracy of memory, frankness, or lack of it, intelligence, interest, and bias, if any. Together with all the facts and circumstances surrounding the testimony, applying these tests, you will assign to the testimony of each witness such weight as you deem proper. You are not required to believe the testimony of any witness simply because it was given under oath. You may believe or disbelieve all or any part of the testimony as witness. You should not decide any issue of fact merely on the basis of the number of witnesses who testify on each side of an issue. Rather, the final test in judgment and judging evidence should be the force and weight of the evidence, regardless of the number of witnesses on each side of an issue. The testimony of one witness believed by you is sufficient to prove any fact. Also, discrepancies in testimony between witnesses does not necessarily mean that you should disbelieve a witness, as people commonly forget facts or recollect them erroneously after the passage of time. You are certainly aware that two persons who witness the same incident may often see or hear it differently. It is considering a discrepancy in testimony. You should consider whether such discrepancy concerns an important fact or a trivial one. This concludes my general preliminary instructions. Now I'll give you a very short statement about some of the specifics of this case. All four of the defendants today are charged with multiple felony charges, including acts of terrorism, attempted murder, and many, many other charges. These will be laid out in the initial reading by one of our bailiffs here, and you will get a more in-depth uh, detail of these as the court as the proceedings progress. One last thing I want you guys to keep in mind, defendants have all pled not guilty to the crimes charged in the indictment. Therefore, he or she starts the trial with a clean slate with no evidence, no evidence at all against him or her. And the law presumes that he or she is innocent. This presumption of innocence stays with him or her unless the government presents evidence here in court that overcomes the presumption and convinces you beyond a reasonable doubt that he or she is guilty. This means the defendant has no obligation to testify or present any evidence at all or to prove to you in any way he or she is innocent. Simply put, it is up to the government to prove he or she is guilty. Do we have any questions from the jury? Do you have anything you'd like to add? No, Your Honor. All right. If the prosecution would uh, go ahead and come forth, take the stand, and proceed with your opening statement, please. You have the floor, sir. Do you look there? Hello, Your Honor. I brought chaos, fear, and lawless, lawlessness into the streets of Los Santos. They waged not just an attack against the law enforcement, but against the very fabric of public safety and social order before escaping on that day. Then, on August the 23rd, an officer was abducted, disarmed, and tortured in a deeply disturbing manner by Mrs. Nobody, the individual who also took part in the events on the 10th. This happened just hours before some of the suspects were apprehended for the previous incident, which led to their arrest on the 24th. But it doesn't end there. On August the 24th, within the walls of a correctional facility, a riot was instigated, resulting in the death of multiple officers, including a SWAT officer and compromising the security of the institution. On that day, law enforcement officers performing their duties to protect and serve engaged in high-speed pursuits involving red modern vehicles and a black uh, Cadillac. But that was just the tip of the iceberg in the chain of events which have uh, foreseeded the couple of days which this has uh, carried on for. Our evidence will show that Billy Schmidt, Miss Nobody, 
Josh Dover and Stephen Philman have acted unlawfully uh, and obviously have broken the law on several accounts. Uh, and we will present concrete evidence, eyewitness testimonies and forensic proof to show beyond a reasonable doubt that each defendant is guilty of the charges brought against them. We would ask uh, our jury to pay close attention to the facts and evidence presented for they will reveal a coordinated effort to break the law, show chaos and endanger the lives of innocent people. At the end of this trial, we will ask for you to find each defendant guilty on all accounts as a crucial step in delivering justice for the victims and the community at large. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Defense, you may approach and give your opening statement, please. First of all, I'd like to just say the evidence gained upon my clients here is substantial at best. Um, however, the evidence that has been presented and is actually bringing up a quote from their opening statement right there, a black Cadillac. I'd just like to point that out. None of my clients have a black Cadillac registered to them. I would like you to take into consideration the fact that all of the officers have not been paying close enough attention so, how would they actually know that these are the correct suspects here today? Now, I have subpoenaed multiple uh, different body cams from officers involved in the said prison riot that has occurred. And it does show the officers threatening to execute the inmates. Now, if you do truly believe that this is how the Constitution should be acting, when, in theory... The prison should be protecting the lives of those inside them. Then I don't know what to say to you, but all I ask is that you look at the evidence that I present and that all of the evidence that they have is taken into question because the evidence today, I'm going to be contesting most of it as there's nothing directly linking my clients to the said suspects. Nothing further, Your Honor. Thank you for that. From this point forward, we'll start hearing from witnesses. If the prosecution could call your first witness, please. Uh, for my first witness, I would like to call uh, John. John. Okay, prior to him approaching, I, I skipped one, one step here. I just want to go over it. It'll be very brief. Um, the attorneys on the record for the state, if you could state your first and last name and your bar card, your bar ID number, please. Connor Hill Barton. All right. That would be the uh, defense for the state, please. Prosecution is uh, Joe Vanelli, bar 32. And your second chair. Your second chair there, prosecution. Uh, I think he's in his head quickly. Okay. All right, go ahead and call your first witness. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm calling for John. Thank you. Your Honor, members of the jury, I'm Captain Hold on one John. Second. Hold on one second, please. Bailiff, if you could swear him in, please. Sir, raise your hand. All right, please raise your hand for the... All right, can you please state your name for me? John Jefferson. All right, John Jefferson, do you swear to tell the whole truth, uh, that the testimony you're about to give is nothing but the truth, the whole truth, and solemnly swear? So help me God. Yes, I do. All right, sir. As a witness, your instructions are easy. And they're simple. You will oh, not I'm give not any sure. testimony that is not asked directly of you, and the prosecution will... Go ahead and question the witness, please. All right. Oh, I'm Captain uh, John Jefferson of the sir, Los. Sir, please oh, stop. excuse me. We're going to let the prosecution ask the witnesses their, the questions, okay? So you won't you won't provide any information that isn't asked of you. So the prosecution, Mr. Prosecution of the State. Yeah, if you could please just uh, direct your questions to the witness, please. Sure thing, thank you. Hello, sir. Uh, so could you tell me how you came to be involved in this uh, police incident? 
Uh, yes. So on the 24th. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. It was my baby mama. I'm leaving. Sorry about that. Um, all right. So on the 24th, I believe it's going to be uh, mid morning. I don't know. Came in, clocked in for my ship at Sandy PD. And, you know, put on my radio and I heard a couple of calls. Objection, the... relevance. Uh, please state your objection. Why do you think it's irrelevant, sir? Why does it matter how he began his shift? I believe it's completely relevant. Overruled. Anyways, so, you know, put on my uh, radio, and I started hearing a lot of chatter about a, uh, quote-unquote, prison break or prison riot. Uh, so, you know, effectively me being on duty, I did my job and went over to the prison in Sandy. Came up onto the scene, I saw multiple vehicles at the front. Most of them were law enforcement vehicles. There was a couple, uh, I don't know if this is relevant, but black uh, Hellcats. I don't know if those were relevant to the ongoing situation. Came in, there was a report of prisoners attempting to escape, resisting, fighting cops, and, you know, other non-lawful things. So I came in uh, and I helped secure uh, and recapture the inmates who tried escaping. Um, and what was your uh, shift assignment that day? Were you on as just a normal officer? Were you on a SWAT or uh, normal Objection, patrol? Compound question. I'll allow it. It's a legitimate question. Go ahead and answer, please. Uh, yeah, okay, so I was on duty as a flexible unit, but mostly just on duty as a regular cop. Okay, and when you responded to the incident that we are uh, obviously discussing about today, uh, what role were you performing at that time? Yes, as a normal patrol officer, but normal. when this, yes, when the scene started to escalate, I then grabbed my SWAT gear and activate, uh, you know, I kind of inserted myself into the SWAT team that were already... Uh, involved. Brilliant. I would Thank like you. to just take a break here and point out uh, the prior objection was overruled on the compound question. Uh, if you could just, as he was pointing out, if you could just ask one specific question and then move on to another question so as not to confuse the jury, please. Sure thing. Thank you. I don't think I'm live streaming. And when you arrived at the, where was it, the jail? Uh, what were you actually greeted with? Um, I'm going to be honest. I was greeted with a lot of chaos and movement, but I quickly, you know, became aware of the situation upon asking over our radio. And I established a small team and we helped the rest of the units capture the inmates. And can you identify who the inmates were? Uh, yeah. So it's going to be the one on the far left. And I believe it's going to be the one on the left side, on the left of the female. And uh, I also helped uh, recapture User or, uh, you know, channel. recapture the uh, female suspect. Thank you. And can you elaborate on that day how you entered into the prison? Excuse me? Can you elaborate on the day how you entered the prison? Yes. I uh, went into the front lobby. I was greeted by DOC staff. And they kind of assisted me. They gave me the keys to the prison. Uh, and they just, you know, told me about the situation. And I kind of inserted myself with the other units. And when inside, uh, how did you come across these suspects? Uh, yeah. So over our radio, we had a lot of communication going about the location of the suspects. I assisted in capturing one of them, which was in a foot pursuit. The other one ran past me, trying to go up a staircase. I captured them swiftly with no violence or much resistance at all. And then the third one, I 
teamed up with a couple officers and we captured them. I believe one of them actually shot at officers, killed one, and we quickly and swiftly uh, neutralized the suspect. And can you identify when you were dealing with this incident? Can you say one more time? Yeah, when you were dealing with this incident, can you clarify uh, if anyone had any contraband when you apprehended Objection them? leading. Investigation will keep the line of question and relevant to the case, please. No leading questions. And when you uh, detained the prisoners, did you search them or was that someone else's uh, responsibility? Um, at the initial moment, we did not search them off the start. Our first priority was to capture all of them, put them in cells, get the jail cleared out, because I believe one of the inmates uh, was threatening about a bomb in the prison. So we decided to... Our plan was to just put them in the cells, keep an eye on them, and until we captured all the inmates, we would then start searching and clearing them individually. Thank you. And when you were, had you searched any of these suspects? Uh, initially, I did not, but when we decided to move them into solitary confinement, I did thoroughly search uh, each and every one of them. And did you find any uh, anything on them? Yes, one of the inmates had a SNS pistol in his shoe and two mags. Another suspect, uh, which I believe he was released, but he came back unlawfully trespassed, attempted to uh, enter the solitary confinement area. Uh, he was apprehended, to say the least, and upon searching him, he had a knife in his shoe. And can you identify which uh, offenders these were? I believe it's going to be one of the two individuals on the hard left. I uh, believe it's going to be the one with the glass, which had the SNS pistol. The one with the knife, I believe it's going to be the guy on the hard right, which he was named as Billy by the inmates during that scene. Thank you. And you mentioned a potential bomb in the prison? Yes. Have you located a bomb? Well, there was a lot of bomb threats going on by a second female suspect, which I did not see present in court here today. Um, after securing the prison and finding no bombs, we sent out units to go back on duty since everything was secured and cleared uh, and deemed safe. But not even an hour later, we got a call about a quote-unquote present in the front of lobby. Uh, me and another witness here came onto the scene as rapid response, or SWAT. And we located a bomb in the main entrance, or main lobby, excuse me. And did you get any descriptions of that bomb? Uh, I did not since my partner, which he is one of the witnesses, uh, called Bomb Squad, and they dealt with it. I was more outside keeping security and, you know, clothing or shutting the area off. And at that time, with that bomb being discovered, had they evacuated the prisoners, or were they still being held in their cells? Uh, they were still being held in their cells because there's no way of reaching them uh, with a bomb threat. We, at the beginning, or at the time of us arriving, we only had two units. Uh, we located the bomb. The bomb shortly exploded, not even five minutes after the first units arrived on scene. Uh, after the bomb exploded, we started taking fire from the highway overlooking the prison. So we ran inside and everything else unfolded. Um, from what you're aware, uh, did you recover any uh, security footage from that incident? Uh, we did not, but I believe your, um, my partner or one of your witnesses might have, but I'm not going to say with confidence he has. 
Thank you. Uh, I think that's all my questions for now, Your Honor. All right. Defense cross. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I'd like to start off by saying that unfortunately the witness has already plagiarized himself today. I would like the jury to take into consideration. If we take into account... If we, if we could, could you just let us know uh, how he perjured himself and we'll take that up? Yeah, of course. So in the uh, body cam footage that has been subpoenaed from the officer within the prison, he just now stated on the record there were two units within the prison, correct? Correct. That was not at the scene which All right. the body cam was provided. Just a simple yes or no, thank you. All right, so on the body cam, we can clearly see at least six officers, possibly more, outside of the frame. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but six is a lot more than two. Okay, um, I have made a note of the possibility of perjury and the evidence that you're relating to. When we come back to um, pull your side in order for uh, evidence, once that's presented, I'll allow you to make that argument yet again, and we'll bring that up then if that works for you. Of course, thank you very much, Jonah. Perfect. You All bet. right, so, are you yourself a member of the SWAT team? Yes. All right, could you please explain what are the steps that you would take if there was a bomb threat? In yes. Well, a random situation, what are the generic steps? First step would be uh, public safety, so we'd evacuate all vulnerable and, you know, non-vulnerable civilians. We would then set up a perimeter, a yeah, big enough perimeter, so if there is any blast, God forbid, it wouldn't injure any civilians. Second priority would be to call on bomb squad and for them to deal with a bomb threat. Alright, now could you please explain the procedure that was taken at the prison? Yes. So, we had a bomb threat. Uh, bomb squad was called on twice during the scene. Bomb squad... Sorry, if I could just stop you right there. So, Jory, I'd just like to speak directly to you. As you That's clearly not heard permitted at this first... time. You'll have to direct your questions to the witness. You had your opening Very statement. Well. You'll have another chance. So, right there, you stated that the first priority is evacuation of any civilians within the blast zone, correct? Yes, sir. Could you please explain why that was not done in this situation? Gladly. So, uh, this was shortly after we put all the inmates in solitary confinement. Uh, we had two stabbed COs. We had one officer killed. Uh, all this. Sorry, if you could just elaborate on what a CO is as the joint. A community leader. officer, excuse me. Thank you. So, two community officers were stabbed by the inmates. I cannot point out which one because uh, there's a lot of chaos going on at the moment. Uh, a SWAT officer was gunned down and killed with three gunshot wounds to the head. Uh, we neutralized the suspect, and our first priority was to secure the inmates. Upon securing them, uh, one of them, a second female inmate, said there would be, there's bombs, and that we, you know, we'll all blow up and die. So, we shut down the prison, uh, we kept the officers within the solitary confinement area, and we called on bomb squad and a canine unit to look and clear the prison. Uh, I'd say 30 minutes later, the prison was deemed clear and safe, and bomb squad was then allowed to leave. K9 unit, I believe they stayed. All right, and um, so earlier on, you stated that one, and I quote here, one of the two individuals on the left of the female contained an SNS pistol, correct? Correct. Okay, so I'm just taking a look at the two individuals you pointed out, and they look completely different to each other, so could you please explain as, how you could have them confused? As I said in my statement, it will, I said I am confidently, I can identify that it was a guy with the glasses. I've said that in my statement. Uh, you did not? But, uh, I did. Okay, I moving said... on to the next question. Now, do you, are you aware of any of the vehicles that the individuals were using at the time? I can just specify what time? Prior to heading into the prison. Ah, uh, no. No, alright. Nothing further, Your Honor. Alright, I appreciate it. Uh, State, would you like to redirect? 
Yes, please, if I can, Your Honour. You can. Please, could you just clarify again uh, your your dealings with the uh, prison incident? Yes. So the prison uh, prison incident. I uh, objection kind of... asked and answered. Could you, Your Honour? I'm trying to get clarification uh, for the question earlier about obviously him. Okay, the if defense. you could just rephrase the question for me, please. Please, can you clarify the uh, second time or the events my, that My happened? apologies. I just want to, for the record, make a note that that objection is sustained. And please just go ahead and rephrase your question. Sure. Thing. Please, can you clarify the events that happened uh, when you attended the prison on the second occasion? On the objection 24th? asked and answered. I'll allow it. Right. For the record, objection is overruled. Okay, so um, as I've said, it, the prison situation was split into two parts, I would like to say. First part was the actual uh, quote unquote prison, prison break, where we contained and secured all the individuals and put them in solitary confinement. Once all units cleared off, and there was maybe one unit left at the prison. They were, you know, making sure everything was locked, secured. We all cleared out from the prison. No officers were then in the prison, and the prison was deemed safe and a and code four, which means, uh, if I'm correct, secured, and you know, units can go back on duty or back to their jobs. Uh, Thirty minutes later, not even. Uh, I can't give a rough estimate. We received a 911 call about an individual saying there is a pris uh, present at the prison. Me and a second rapid response uh, officer we responded to the call. We located a bomb. This was not the uh, the first, you know, the first situation in the prison. This was the second afterwards. At this moment, the individuals or inmates were still in solitary confinement. We located a bomb at the front entrance. Uh, and then the events, as I've stated earlier, unfolded. Thank you, Your Honor Vassal. Defense, do you have anything further for this witness? Yeah, I do, Your Honor. Go ahead. All right, officer, sorry, is it John J? Yes. All right, were you aware that one of the inmates was pregnant at the time? Uh... There was Objection. relevance. I'm getting Sir, if to you that. could state your relevance, please. Um, well, pregnancy induced uh, it, the stress induced during pregnancy is much higher, and I would like to question him regarding the bomb. It would yeah, be an issue. The relevance will come into it. Objection sustained. Oh. Information not relevant to the case. Defense, you may proceed. All right, Officer John Jay, could you please explain why the inmates were not removed from solitary? during the bomb threat. Yes, I will. So, as I've said, I'm, I think you got it mixed up. But this was the second scene at the prison. This wasn't the first. We did not have all of our units at the prison. We had two units, which were on duty as rapid response. We located a bomb, and our priority was to first take care of the bomb. The inmates uh, were still in solitary. We called for additionals to uh, come in and secure the prison. Uh, as they were coming in, we called Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad arrived on scene. And they noticed, I believe, red flashing lights, but the second witness is gonna have to uh, clarify that. So Bomb Squad went in, attempted to defuse the bomb. It didn't go well. The bomb blew up. Then we uh, started receiving very accurate and deadly fire from a suspect on the highway overlooking the jail. So we ran into the prison and other units arrived on scene. All right, how long were the prisoners in jail before you entered it? Uh, was, are you referring to the first scene or the second one? Objection, the coming of relevance. The first for now. First one. Hold on, hold on, let's get uh... Could you state your relevance to the question, please? 
Yes, you see, the prisoners, if they were in solitary confinement for a certain period of time, it has already been proven that PTSD can develop. Okay, um, I'm going to overrule the objection and allow the question. Um, however, I would like to remind defense counsel uh, that we shouldn't be testifying as to things like that, if you understand what I'm saying, without going yep. into it. Thank you. Overrule. Go ahead. All right. How long were they in prison before the instant please the first one? Uh, yeah, so the first scene, again, as I've stated in my statement, I came onto the scene, uh, I'd say shortly after it began, but I can't give you a time. Uh, when I arrived, the inmates weren't in any cells. They, I believe most of them were cuffed, but they were fleeing around the prison, attempting to escape. Uh, All right, this uh, isn't actually answering my question. The question was, how I'm long getting to were it. they in? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting to it. So, we apprehended them, put them in a cell. They've, they were around in a regular cell for around, say, maybe an hour or 30 minutes. Between 30 minutes and an hour, they were there while we were trying to clear... Sorry, what is that in months? Oh, excuse me. Maybe... Maybe like 30 months, I'd say, then. Anywhere from like 8 to 30 months, so... All right, now I would just like to ask one more question. According to what you've said, where you stated it was a prison escape, did any prisoners actually escape? Uh, prison break. And I believe a few prisoners actually did escape containment, and they were, I would like to stay near escaping. Most of them, I know one of them, ran to the courtyard. Climbed onto Would a... you class the courtyard as escaped from prison? Uh, from the prison cells, yes. Sorry, if, I don't know if I'm misunderstanding here, but how can they escape from a prison Objection cell when they're still within prison? Uh, overruled, it was framed as a question. Let's, uh, let's just make sure we frame it as a question a little quicker so we, we can avoid these. So if I'm correct, uh, you can finish your question. Did you finish it? Yes, I did. All right, so as you... Just for the record, if you could just uh, ask the question again, I apologize. The prior objection made me forget the question. I would just like him to explain the definition to his understanding, escaped from prison. Yes, so um, I'm going to format it in my own words, but any inmates who escape containment or, you know, break any laws to attempt uh, to evade officers. So these inmates over here, they escaped from their cells, evaded the uh, DOC staff officers and were aggressive, violent, and had no regard for anyone's safety. Uh, one of the inmates, I can point them out if you'd like me to. That won't be necessary. All right, climbed onto a water tank, I believe. There was a ladder. And proceeded to kick Sorry, officers. Sorry, if I could just back up here. Did you state that they were in cuffs at this time? No, this specific inmate w was not. Some of them were in cuffs. Uh, some of them weren't. All right, whilst inmates are sentenced at the uh, facility, are they permitted any sort of... Uh, we'll call it yard time. Exercise, time to exercise, time to go outside. Yes, but these yard times are overseed by DOC staff. They are also very strict on where they can go and how long they can be outside for. It is a very organized and strict recreation. All right, and when they are on this break, are they permitted to go into the yard? Yes, specific sections of the yard. And did you confer at the time with the quote-unquote DOC staff that they weren't on the break time? Well, quote-unquote DOC staff uh, mentioned of a prison riot and a attempted prison break. So, as any logical person, assuming you're a logical person, would think that all recreation, yard time, everything in the uh, prison's routine would be shut down if there's every prison right or attempted prison break and all staff were to apprehend the subjects. Correct, but I'm slightly confused how if there were no 
officers present at the time. How can there have been an invite ongoing if they were simply in the yard? Objection, badgering. Uh, please explain why you think he's badgering, sir. Because it was my client's, uh... It was my client's own interpretation of a uh, question, Your Honor. Um, I, I understand where you're coming from. However, I do need to stress to both sides that the charges against the defendants are extremely severe. And because they are extremely severe, I'm going to allow that both prosecution and defense treat witnesses as hostile, however, doing so within the confines of the law, so long as my co-partner here can agree with that. I'll allow it. It's, it's allowed, therefore, uh, I'll allow the questions. Just the uh, objection is overruled. Are you able to uh, repeat your question? Yes, if there were no officers on scene at the time, how was it classed as a riot? Again, as I've stated for us already, I uh, began my patrol shift after the event that took place. I was not informed how it began. But Are you aware it, of any officers that were on scene when it began? Uh, I believe a couple of community officers were there. Uh, I, I can't name any specific officers that are on the scene, but if I had to guess, there was a 911 call about a prison break. Or a prison riot, excuse me. Nothing further, Your Honor. Alright, the witness, you are excused. Thank you, Your Honor. I appreciate you being here today. Please remain in the gallery as you will be called upon here in just a little bit, please. Prosecution, your second witness. Uh, I would like to call up Jason E. If you're present, please come up to the stand. Yes, sir, if you could raise your right hand, repeat after me. Or correction, raise your right hand. Listen to what I had to say carefully, sir. Do you At agree this to time, the even truth, for the, the recording truth, stream, the I will be changing you over to the game recording. So everything else will be turned yes. off. Okay. State your witness. Can you explain to me how you uh, came about on the initial incident on the uh, 10th of August? So what uh, in the Legion area when I saw a black Cadillac going down the road and I heard some kind of muffled screaming coming out of the back. I, put, I turned my lights on, went behind it, and I was suspicious, and then they took off. And they didn't take off. They went into an alley. Where they switched vehicles into a red four door. And then they took off into MRPD. And then and there was three individuals in the vehicle. There was a female and two males. And the one male was wearing all black. He was white. He was armed with a fully automatic, looks like submachine gun. And positive it was an Uzi. And then he ordered a the gentleman out of the vehicle, which was an elderly that had a bomb strapped to his chest on a vest. And then the female stepped out of the vehicle with a long rifle with a large scope on it and ran the opposite way. Um, the male with the firearm ordered the old man into MRPD, where he barricaded himself. And um, was, you know, asking me for a demand. demand. He was demanding what he wanted, you know, so I could, you know, get him out of the lot. And then what he demanded was a was to have my vehicle and hear that the bomb squad deal with the bomb on his chest. We granted it. We attempted chasing um, that vehicle, and 
We lost eyes. We checked security cam footage. We found the vehicle in the back of a yard near Grove Street. And then when we were patrolling the main area looking for the female suspect, we found the black Cadillac. Tried to pull her over. She ran. And then she, she ran at speeds of excess 120 all around the Legion Square area. Crashed into the middle of Legion. Got out of the vehicle running. We utilized um, our taser and batons multiple times to attempt to apprehend her. She resisted about two or three times until we were able to successfully detain her. Placed her in the back of our vehicle. When we searched her, we found a pistol on her leg along with a knife in her boot and an earpiece. And then when we went to search the vehicle, we found a sniper rifle in the back seat along with a bomb bolted to the floorboards. We have we requested a bomb squad to be en route. They attempted to disarm the bomb, but it was unsafe to there. So they brought the vehicle to a safe location where it was detonated. And after that, we took the female to Davis PD holding cell. Got the fingerprint scanner. Um, so it came back to Mrs. Nobody, which is who she is now. And then the initial male came back to the scene and started shooting up Davis PD, um, shooting and killing multiple officers on the scene, attempting to get Miss Nobody out of our custody. We then were able to successfully um, take down and detain the male where we were able to identify as Billy Schmidt. We placed, he, he survived and we were able to place him into holding. And then he demanded his one phone call while in holding cell. We granted that. And he said along the lines, I'm at Davis PD, bring User the bomb now. We took the phone away from him and ordered him back into User his cell. Then we had a male come to Davis PD with a box, refusing orders to leave the building. We placed it in the middle of Davis PD and took our front. We were able to successfully detain him and put him in hold. We had bomb squad come into Davis PD. And check out the box where it was identified as just to have a teddy bear with inside of it. And it was a false bomb threat. After that, we detained um, him, ID'd him, which is ID came back as Josh Dover. And we had him in the holding cell. And the PD um, suddenly lit fire about 10 to 20 minutes within the holding cell as we were um, writing a report and, and a lawyer present. We tried to, we got all units to evacuate to the suspects outside of Davis PD because their um, care is our top priority since they're in our detainment. And we had an individual mow down officers with a fully automatic rifle and um, take all these suspects and place them in the back of a charger where they successfully ran and fled the scene and completely got away from us. We investigated the issue. And we we found a wallet that seemed to be dropped along with bullet casings all around it from looks like a high caliber rifle. And when we opened it, it came back as a Tyrone Fallen, which um, he wasn't able to appear in court today, unfortunately. But and then we had we investigated the fire and looked at camera footage um, before it was completely destroyed and what it got beforehand that was uploaded. And we saw a old individual with gray hair. Um, I believe a red shirt, black pants. I forget the rest of his description. Um, wearing arson stuff around PD and lighting it on fire. Dropping his ID close by, but not so close that it would get burnt. We were able to recover it, and it yeah. came back as Stephen Philman, which he is here in court today. And that should be everything that happened on August 10th. Thank you, sir. And... Can you confirm, when you mentioned about hearing uh, the muffled screaming or sounds coming from a vehicle, how far away from the vehicle were you at that time? I was about, I would say, two car lengths away from the vehicle, but it was some pretty loud screaming at my windows down. An incident from so I was able to hear it pretty well. Thank you. And what was the weather like on that day? Rejection relevance. Oh, I believe it's. I I do I do too. I also believe that it's relevant. Um, there are multiple things that could have 
acted pro and con, so I, I'll allow an uh, objection as a rule. The weather was clear and sunny. Thank you. And you mentioned that you went to stop the vehicle, uh, and they went down an alleyway. Do you lose sight of the vehicle at any time? I did not. And how far away from the vehicle were you uh, while they were in the alleyway? Uh, about a car length to keep a safe distance. And did you get out of your vehicle uh, while they were changing vehicles, or did you remain in yours? I stepped out of my vehicle and held them at gunpoint, where they were disobedient to following orders that I was demanding. What orders were you shouting at them? I don't really recall exactly what I was shouting at them, but I was telling them just we do not leave in that area to change the sign. My lights on, but I do not entirely recall everything that I was shouting at them. Um, when they got into the uh, second vehicle, where did they put the uh, person wearing the uh, vest at the time? The, the um, back seat. I forget which seat, but it was the back seat of its driver passenger. Thank you. And can you describe the standard procedure during a high risk uh, chase? In a high risk chase? Yes. To the, pursue the suspect at a distance. And um, I was the only officer on duty within the LS County. Um, we had a period of clarity going on in Blaine County, I'm pretty sure. So I was the only available unit in LS County for a short time. So I pursued the vehicle for a short period of time as it took to get from the alleyway and took two streets up to MRP. Thank you. And are you aware of any procedures in place for bomb threats within a police station? Well, we would try to evacuate the area, but they were barricaded within their PD, so we had no way of getting in there. But. Thankfully, there was no one else in there besides the two individuals, so it was um, the male and the individual with the bomb strapped to his chest. But we would try to get a... I was the only officer, there's no one around. We should have um, set a perimeter, preferably 50 meters away from the building. But I was the only officer, and there was no one else to set a perimeter. So I was incapable of doing that at that time. And what are the procedures about uh, a fire at a police station as well? A fire at a police station? Yes. Evacuate it immediately. Um, would that include your prisoners? Indeed. And where would you normally take them? I would. We would normally take them about a safe distance, so 50 to 100 meters away from the building. I'll keep them within our custody and at least have someone watch, at least one person watching them at all times, armed. So would that be away from the uh, police station compound? Yeah, so it would be away from the police station compound. And how big would you say the fire was on the day? On the 10th? Yes. On the tenth, it was it engulfed the entire the outside of the building and it spread no. rapidly. So it was about the size of the building. Thank you. And do you recognise uh, the individuals that you mentioned uh, in the car chase are here today? Yes. Can you describe which one? Uh, the female and the person to the left, I'm um, the right of the female. So just to clarify, it was the female and the person to her right? Oh, yes. Thank you. Any further questions? At the moment, uh, I won't. 
I will uh, bring up another instant after uh, defendants have questioned about the temp. If that's all right, Your Honor. Um, so by the rules, your initial question should be here, his cross. You would have a rebuttal to his questions, not to bring up anything that wasn't brought up already in questioning. That's what rebuttal is all about. No worries. So, so you can go ahead and bring it up now, please. On the... On the 23rd of August, can you tell me what, uh, how you started your shift and what's happened? The way I started my shift is any other. Put my uniform on, got all my equipment, I copied my radar, and, and I got into my patrol vehicle and went on duty. That's how I normally start my patrol. User left your channel. And can you please let me know how. Uh, what happened on that shift? Um, I was performing a DUI stop on a female individual um, close to Polito Bank and being very compliant. And then I saw a black Hellcat pull up into the parking lot. I thought nothing of it because it's a public parking lot. So I let them be. They were within a good safe distance. And then they pulled up closer. She st it was a female. She stepped out with a um, heavy machine gun. It looked like it had like a box magazine, maybe 100, 150 round inside of that. It held me at gunpoint, forced me to uncuff the individual and not reach for anything I had on me. Stripped me of all my police essentials and tied me up and threw me in the back of the Hellcat where she took me and the DUI individual to um, Stab City where um, I got my shirt ripped off of me and me tied to a fence where she forced the DUI individual to carve her initials in my back with a sharp bladed object. And do you know who the uh, suspect was that you stopped while the DUI was happening? Negative, I wasn't able to get a name at the time. Uh, did you recognize them as being any of the suspects involved with this case? The DUI suspect is negative. And can you clarify what injuries you obtained from that kidnapping, as you called it? I had rope burns on my wrists and ankles, and I got um, her Miss Nobody's initials carved into my back with a sharp bladed object. And can you clarify what uh, support and assistance you've received from a department following an incident like this? Objection, uh, that objection is going to be sustained. Go ahead and move on, please. And in the uh, vehicle, the black Hellcat that you mentioned, was it just the one person coming out of it? Objection. Asked and answered. Rephrase the question, please. Objection sustained. Uh, when the black Hellcat pulled up, had you uh, noticed any potentials that there could be other persons inside the vehicle? There was only one person within the vehicle. And that is the female suspect we have today. And is there any uh, distinguishing features on that uh, black Hellcat that you would mention? Um, it had uh, the Hellcat word kind of in white um, LEDs within the front and the back of the vehicle and had some dark and look, uh, kind of aggressive looking headlights. And all the headlights and taillights were tinted pretty dark. You mentioned the taillights and headlights were tinted. Were the windows tinted? Yes. Pure black. And did the vehicle have any registration plates that you saw? Yes. Do you remember what the registration plate said? It said nobody. Spell spell. And do you remember where uh, the female took you? Stab City. And do you know where in Stab City? 
Uh, I'm mm-hmm. gonna I'm gonna interrupt for just one second. Um, I just want to point out when you ask when he asks you a question, a yes or no question, answer it with yes or no, and then he'll ask you an additional question if he feels like there's more information needed. So don't volunteer information. That's not asked of you. Okay. Okay. Thanks, sir. You can continue. Do you know where in Sub City you were taken to? Could you? Yes. Would you be able to describe the location for us? I can give an approximate location. Please, could you describe that to us? It was on the right side of Stab City. I don't know which house, but it was on the right side. And you stated it was a house and not a trailer? A trailer, my bad. I believe that's all, Your Honor. I'm sorry, say that again, please. I believe that's all from myself, Your Honor. All right. Defense, your witness, sir. Earlier, you mentioned a black Cadillac, correct? Yes. Was there a plate on the vehicle? I do not know. All right, and did you lose visual of that vehicle at any time? Uh... Yes and no. When I was chasing uh, sorry, the vehicle, if I could just get some clarification. Yes and no is naturally an answer to the question. Can I clarify? Yes. When I was initially chasing the vehicle, I did not lose eye, but then they switched vehicles and headed to MRK. When at that time, I lost eye as was following the second vehicle. Right, roughly, how many black Cadillacs have you pulled over during your career in the? Uh... Law enforcement? Not many. Not many? Yeah. More or less than 100. I uh, unknown. No, if I can give a good estimate. Right, well, in the state of uh, Los Santos, there are more than 80 black Cadillacs registered. Now, the vehicle in question you stated you do not know if it had a plate. If at any time you lost a visual of that vehicle, do you believe it is possible that another one came into your sight? Negative, because this one had distinct drag tires with text on them. Alright, and were the windows of the vehicle tinted? Can you, reset your, can you re-ask your question, please? Were the windows of the vehicle tinted? Yes. Could you see through them at all? Negative. So it is possible that the old man in question had a gun aimed to one of the suspects? I guess it would be possible, yes. Alright, and you stated that the old man was the one giving you the instructions with the bomb strapped to his vest, correct? Negative. Alright, could you please explain that aspect again with the old man in the bomb vest when he entered MRPD? It was the younger man with with uh, a gun that was giving the instructions to the man with the vest. Is the younger man here today? Yes. Could you point him out? The individual to the right of the female. Alright, so do you believe he intentionally placed that on himself? The vest onto the old man? Uh, yes. Uh, I don't believe he intentionally put the vest on himself, no. Were there any forensics conducted on the vest in question? Negative. Any DNA? So no DNA was found? Negative. We had to have it safely um, detonated. Right, so is there any proof that one of the clients here, one of my clients here today, were actually behind the vest? Negative. All right. Nothing further, Your Honor. Alright, prosecution, redirect. While you were chasing that vehicle, uh, if you had lost uh, sight of the black Cadillac, uh, had you used any of the 
tools like the AMPR cameras uh, to assist you in locating the vehicle? One negative objection compound question. Please uh, restrict your questions to one at a time, please. Objections sustained. Sorry, I did only mean to ask one question. Uh, when you were locating the vehicle, if you had lost sight of it, had you used any of the tools available to yourself to locate the vehicle? By tools, I am referencing like uh, CCTV cameras, which the county are, or MPR cameras. Can you re-ask your question for me, sorry? So, when, if you had lost eyes on a black Cadillac, had you used any of the uh, tools that you had available to yourself, such as the CCTV cameras, which is state Objection leading. Overruled. The CCTV cameras, which is state own, or any of the AMPR cameras, which is state also own. Yes. Could you clarify which means you used? I didn't use them because I didn't really lose eyes on the vehicle until we switched. And... No, that's all. Thank you, Your Honor. Defense, would you like another shot at him? Yes, Your Honor. All yours. All right, so when discussing the CCTV, you said that was at your disposal, correct? Yes. Okay, and you still had no plate detected? Negative. I was, I'm not sure. I was um, 17 years ago. I, I'm not sure if I had the plate lock clocked in my LNPR system or not. All right, what was the procedure of a traffic stop, please? Pull over the vehicle, clock the plate, run it. All right, I'm just stop you right there. Could you please explain why you did not clock the plate or run it? Because they took off. It wasn't a complete formal traffic stop. Sorry, could you please elaborate on what you mean by it wasn't a complete formal traffic stop? I attempted to pull over. They failed to yield. And does your plate reader lock the plate regardless? It scans the plate, but I have to manually lock it. Did you do so? Negative. Is it your duty to gain any sort of evidence in case, uh, in case it is used in court? Yes, but I was focused on keeping up with the vehicle and not losing eyes. So I was not able to utilize one of my other hands to clock the vehicle and risk myself um, losing eyes and or crashing my vehicle. But you are trained to do so, correct? Yes, but this vehicle was... All right, nothing further, to... Your Honor. Hmm. The witness will be permitted to answer the question. Uh, Your Honor, he's already answered it. It was a simple yes or no. Okay, this all right. The state the question and the, the answer to the question of why is it is relevant to the case. Can you repeat that? Sorry. Yeah. Answer the question in full. Uh, can you, sir? Can you repeat the question, please? I kind of. Um. Yes. So, you are trained to gather any evidence in case it goes to court. Correct. Yes, I am. And do you feel as though you did so? Negative, because I was trying to keep up with the suspect and not lose eye. As the vehicle was particular, as was traveling at a speed of excess 120, it would have been dangerous for myself to let off the wheel to clock the vehicle, so I did not do so. Defense, uh, if you would like the floor again, because he extended that, I'll offer it to you. Uh, to the witness, I would like to just remind you one more time to only answer the question that's asked and not produce any more information unless asked of you, okay? Mm -hmm. 
defense, would you like to take the floor again, or are you still good with closing? Defense, would you like to ask any more questions? Yes, actually, you and I have a few more questions. Okay. Use yours. Um, could you please explain what happened or what occurred, sorry, in Snap City? So, I was tied up in the back of the vehicle, forcefully dragged out into one of the... Um, I forget what they're called. You no, know, like, camper spots in Snap City. I was tied to a fence. And I was initially interrogated. She wanted me to drop all charges, uh, which I, you know, didn't do so, but she wanted me to. And then she untied me, pulled me to the fence, and had the DUI suspect carve her initials into my back, which I'm still healing from that to this day. Did you have any sort of blindfold on or anything covering your vision whilst in the vehicle? Whilst in the vehicle, negative. All right, what was going on inside the vehicle? Um, I do not really know. It was a lot going on at the time. All right, and uh, similar to the plate reader, are you trained to deal with these situations? Yes. What is that training? Hold on. Can you reset your question, please? Yes, what is the training that you received for a situation similar to this? Clarify, please. You were taken hostage in the back of a vehicle, correct? Yes. And what is the training that you received to deal with a situation such as that? To collect as much um, evidence I can of what the vehicle looked like, how many people inside, if they're armed, and where I am, so I can be correctly located. Alright, and can I just clarify that you stated you did not know what was going on, so there was too much? There was a lot, but I was able to get some of the details, not all. Sorry, was that some, but not all? Yes, I was able to get some details. Alright, and back to the initials that were carved on your back. What are those initials? M dot N. Since we're missing nobody. Okay, do you understand that M and N are very common initials within the state of San Andreas? Or, yes. sorry, the state of US overall. Yes, but also in the vehicle. She, um, she asked me um, what her name was because she knew I knew it. And I said, Miss Nobody. Which she agreed with. So you were actually conversing with the suspect at the time? Initially, yes. Would I you say it was a peaceful conversation? Vehicle. Negative. It wasn't very peaceful. I felt very... It felt like it was aggressive towards me. Why is it that you felt like it was aggressive? Because I was tied and forcefully thrown in the back of the vehicle. Alright, and when you stated that your shirt was taken off you... Was that done by yourself? User left your channel. Sorry, my local box just kind of, you know, um, negative. It was forcefully ripping off of me. Sorry, but earlier you were told, you stated that you were the one that removed it. Better not. Alright. Nothing further, Your Honor. Alright, the witness is dismissed. Please remain in the gallery just in case you are recalled. Does the state have any further witnesses or evidence to present at this time? Uh, I would like to call up Sam L. Give me just one second.
sorry to have given your statement. Uh, you will be sworn in. You left, can you swear in? Sir, if you could raise your hand, please. You swear from the testimony you're about to give to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth of what you got. Yes. <clears throat> State your witness. Hello, sir. Um, so, can you explain to me what happened on August the 10th for yourself? Myself, I had gotten on duty pretty late to the active scene. Uh, as I had gotten in my car into Blaine County to start my patrol, I was made aware that there was a all-call situation down in LS and that I immediately go to it. Uh, as I had made my way to LS County, I was put towards the Davis PD section. So uh, as I was entering in the Davis PD, uh, we were helping these four off to my left into the individual cells, uh, making sure that the Davis PD was securely blocked off. We were making sure that everything was being processed as smoothly as possible, but quickly making sure that nothing was uh, left unsecured. As uh, we were sitting there, one of them had called f uh, for me personally to, uh, for their right, or sorry, I do apologize, for their call. Uh, as I was observing their call, uh, they had told someone on the phone to get a bomb down to uh, Davis PD. And as soon as I had heard that, we had taken away the phone from them and put them back into their cell. Uh, over the course of time, multiple people had came in, or at least two lawyers at the time had came in and uh, I do apologize I am blanking uh, to represent their clients um, as far as my knowledge can pertain uh, a couple minutes later uh, there was a fire inside the PED and as soon as there was a fire, we started moving them all out, and I was rushed over to the right side where there was the parking lot for LSPD units only. Uh, I had left that garage port to go off to the right of it, next to the train tracks where I had saw Miss Nobody starting to leave in cuffs. As soon as I started to run up to her and grab her so she wasn't going to go anywhere. A car, I do not remember description of vehicle, had pulled up to me and knocked me out. And they were able to take Miss Lady. Or Miss Nobody, sorry. Thank you. What... What were you formed of the incident before you arrived over the radio? I was not given very much information other than it was a high priority suspect that needs to be into or be put into Davis PD. Always, thank you. And can you identify uh, that the suspect that you were dealing with on that day uh, is currently in the court? Uh, which ones I dealt with? Mainly two of them. Can you identify that they're both currently in the court? Um, I can't identify one of them, but I can identify uh, Miss Nobody as being one of them. Copy, thank you. I think that's all the questioning from yourself. Thank you, officer. Defense, your witness. Alright, so you stated you were knocked out, correct? Yeah. Okay, so is it possible in any way that they were forced into the vehicle? No, it, I, there was a very good amount of period of time before I was knocked out that I saw them trying to pick up Miss Nobody. Is there any way that the uh, suspects in this instance could have contacted anyone under your supervision? Not under my supervision, there was a moment of brief time before I had made my way to the parking lot uh, and then over to Miss Nobody. So there was no way any contact could have taken place? 
um, between me going over to miss nobody and me coming out of the building? No. I There was no contact until then. Right, I'm back to the subject of the fire. Was there an investigation taking place? Um, not one that I was made aware of. Um, I uh, do not qualify any rank to be uh, doing main investigation. Were you one of the officers that led the suspects out of the station? No, I was trying to put out a fire that had erupted. Sorry, is your career law enforcement or fire department? Law enforcement, but just to keep uh, the fire tamed down and the suspects uh, not injured, I was trying to put out a fire. Alright, and were the fire department contacted during this? Um, at my current recollection, recollection moment, uh, there was no active fire department on. Uh, I do believe county fire did get called, but I am not too sure. All right. And now, the vehicle you stated you had no description, correct? Sorry, what was that? The vehicle that pulled up and knocked you out, you stated you have no description of that. Um, I could give a maybe absolute possibility of a description, but I don't want to be uncertain of one and give one. All right, nothing further, Your Honor. State. Redirect. Uh, no questions, Your Honor. Can not help. witnesses excused. Please remain in the courthouse of some sort in some capacity in case you are called upon again. Does the state have any further witnesses or evidence to present at this time? Uh, have we got a Don F in the courtroom currently? Sir, if you're present in the courtroom, please rise, make yourself known. I, I do not believe, see one at this time. I believe he might have gone. Uh, could we call Morgan up, please? Is Mr. Morgan, does Mr. Morgan have a last name? Morgan Mitch. Ma'am, can you move, please? Morgan Mitch, if you Thank could you. make your way to the front, please. All right, sir, if you could please raise your hand. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes. Perfect. State, it is your witness, sir. Hello, officer. Can I just clarify uh, a few facts with you? Were you involved in the incident on the 10th of August at all? No. Sir, you. if you could uh, repeat your question. I apologize, I could barely hear it. Sorry, I was just clarifying that uh, Morgan was not involved in the incident on the 10th of August. Um, please, could you identify uh, what happened on August the 24th from the stage of you booking on duty? So I got on duty at Sandy PD once I clocked in. I joined the radio, once I got my radio set up and everything, I heard over the radio that there was a prison riot of some sort. So I first off headed over there with SWAT gear. Once I arrived there, I joined up with the SWAT team. Then we made up a plan to start moving the prisoners that we have behind me on my left. Yes, on my left to move them to solitary confinement because of their behavior. So we started, once we got the plan ready, we started moving them one by one to solitary confinement. And then once we got them to solitary confinement, somehow there was, there was threatening us with bomb threats and everything. After, after about five minutes, bomb squad pulled up on scene, which was myself. I went back and activated bomb squad per the request of other units on scene. Once I activated the bomb squad, there was a search with me and K9. We did not find anything in the building. 
So I took off my bomb squad gear, put it back in the bomb squad vehicle, and grabbed my regular SWAT gear and reattached to the tag team. After I reattached to the tag team, we then was uh, staying there, just keeping an eye on the prisoners for a minute. Somehow, uh, the person on the right, I believe, if I can, of the person with the glasses, the left, I mean, of the person with the glasses, he somehow dug a hole in the floor of his jail cell with a zipper from his jacket. Once that happened, uh, he skipped to the bottom, SWAT went after him with canine units. Your Honor. Your Honor, if I may approach. You may. If Council could approach, please. While we're up here, yes. uh, if we could just uh, flex our G down, please. Can you hear me? All right, so I'm seeing a log here of a Morgan Mitch that was deceased during the prison riot, so I'm confused as to who this man is. Yeah, but I believe some of the details only the... Uh, other Morgan Mitch could know. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, uh, this witness is excused. Jury, you will strike any testimony given from this witness. This witness was not approved on the witness list and is hereby excused. Jury is instructed to strike any testimony given by this witness from your recollection. Yes, Your Honor. State any other evidence or witnesses? No more witnesses. Any evidence? Yes, one moment, please. So the evidence uh, which have been collected uh, is on the black Cadillac vehicle. Uh, there was a sniper rifle on the back seat, as well as armed explosives on the floorboard of the black seat. Of the back seat, sorry. Uh, there was uh, pictures taken on scene, and these have been documented, uh, which have been passed to prosecution and yourself, Your Honor. Carry on. Um, obviously, while searching uh, the female suspect. Uh, Mrs. Nobody. Um, she had no identification I on. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, um, but I, I've given instructions to the jury to not listen to any testimony by either of the attorneys or any of the attorneys, and to only listen to the testimony of witnesses and the pro okay. and the production of evidence. So I, I don't mean to be rude and cut you off, but I do need to tell you, uh, please don't, please don't testify. Okay. No worries. Uh, can I call back up a witness that's already been up just to document the evidence? Uh, give me one second. Sure. We're going to take a two-minute recess, a literal two-minute recess. I'm going to go back in chambers and confer with my partner, and we'll we'll discuss that. Sure thing. Thank you. Everybody could remain in the court gallery while we recess. We'll return shortly. What are those eyes? Jesus Christ! <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying the live stream. Uh, I know it's a very plain and boring live stream. I know I haven't recorded or done anything later or recently, but uh, I will want to say that this live stream will be turned into a recording. The live stream will not be posted uh, just due to the simple fact that it is a late start to the live stream or sorry, 
uh, because the live stream was broken earlier. I do apologize for that. I thought I was streaming, but I was not. I didn't check, which is on me, not on you. Uh, so I'll be posting a cut down video later of today or hopefully later sometime uh, of this court case because I have it recorded for now four hours and seven minutes compared to the 48 minutes I've been live streaming. Um, <clears throat> I do apologize for that, um, but I will be posting that video later. All right, we're back on the record. I have spoken with my partner. We have come to an agreement that the state has had plenty of opportunity in the defense as well to rebuttal each witness that has come up. The evidence that was already submitted has been um, gone over. No further evidence will be permitted at this time and the state's request to recall a witness at this time is denied. And I will note that ruling in our books. At this point, I will ask the defense to call their first witness, please. Uh, sorry, Your Honor. Okay, I'd like to call Officer John Jacobson. Mr. Rossi, you have already been sworn in. Defense may proceed with their line of questioning. All right, whilst I'm uh, questioning this witness, I would like us to pull up the uh, evidence that I subpoenaed from his body cam. If everyone has that available to them, I believe they do. Could you ask me that one more time? I'm sorry. The evidence I subpoenaed from his body cam, I will be bringing that up if we could ensure that we have that in front of us ready. Yep. Give me just one second and I will verify that. All right. Okay, I have reviewed that, and I believe all of the attorneys in the room have reviewed it as well. I am okay with that presentation. It has been admitted by my partner here, and it is permitted, and you may begin asking questions reference to that. Wonderful. Thank you very much. All right, Officer John J. At any point during the police visit to the prison during the supposed riot, did you or any other officer present on scene threaten the individuals over there User with joined death? Threaten? No. State the uh, mate's death? Yes. Do you believe any of the suspects could have potentially heard you from where you were stood? You said hurt me? Do you believe the suspects could have heard you from where you were stood during this conversation uh, that you stated they should die. At that specific moment, no. All right, and do you believe it is suitable of the officers to be discussing said things? Uh, Your Honor, permission to add some context. Not right now. You're, you're only permitted to answer the questions, and the state will uh, yes, sir. have a chance to question you in a moment. Could you repeat your question? Yep, do you believe it is suitable for law enforcement officers to be stating such things? I do not, no. Nothing further, Your Honor. User left your channel. State, do you have anything? Yes, Your Honor. Can you please explain what uh, was currently going through uh, the officer's head when uh, them comments were made? Objection, here, say. Overruled. Did you repeat your question? Can you uh, clarify what potentially was going through or was being stated? Sorry. Yeah. Can you clarify what potential was going through the officer's head when them comments were stated? Objection here, say, Your Honor. How could he possibly know? It is sustained. Hold on, listen. The witness cannot testify to someone else's thoughts. Therefore, the objection of hearsay is sustained. Your Honor, with all due respect, I can testify to my own thoughts. 
To your own thoughts, yes, sir. And However, to the environment. Asked, stand by. He asked you about someone else's thoughts, which is hearsay, so that objection is sustained. Sorry, just to clarify, was it yourself that made from comments? Uh, no. Could you please uh, give us some context around uh, what was being discussed at the time of that uh, comment being made? Well, yes. So we finished securing all the inmates, and after clearing the prison, we all gathered around to kind of, you know, ease our tension a bit, uh, relax. We were all very stressed from the scene that unfolded. Uh, me personally and Morgan Mitch, we are both veterans. I have my VA card here. If the defense would like to see it, or the judges. All right, I'll take that as uh, if you want to see it. So, evidence, I sir, only evidence can only be produced by the attorneys of record. Yes, so I served nine years in the military for joining as a Los Santos police officer. Uh, Morgan Mitch and uh, solely T, us three, which were present during the statements heard in the body cam, we've all served. Uh, and we all know that, uh, you know, it's really stressful out there in the field. Me personally, I've served in Afghanistan, Kosovo, Iraq, and the other minor nations. Relevance. It's context, sir. Sir, listen, their objection was made to me. I will make a ruling on it between the attorneys. Once there's an objection, you will stop talking altogether and allow this proceeding to go on as it's supposed to. Yes, sir. If you could please restate your objection, sir. Yes, this objection relevance, I don't see how it's relevant what he did in a prior career. I am, I understand where you're coming from. However, I do see the possibility of relevance, so I'm going to overrule it. However, I would instruct that the questions be answered directly and that the state makes direct questions that makes it easy for the witness to do that. So the objection is overruled. However, I would caution the state. All right, so I'm just going to make this simple. Me and Morgan served in the same unit for around four years. Uh, and as a lot of people know who've served, uh, the only way to get by in the field, you know, seeing a lot of death and uh, carnage around you, we use a lot of dark humor. And that's really how we kind of relax the tension and stress. Uh, I fully believe, uh, but I cannot talk on behalf of the person who stated uh the audio caught on the body cam, but I believe it was stated to kind of release an ease tension. Objection, hearsay again. Hold on. Uh, witness, I'd like to remind you that you are under oath and you swore to give nothing but the truth. Therefore, information you are to provide is to be truthful. Uh, defense, can you restate your objection? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Relev uh, yeah, relevant, sorry. Uh, describe how this information sorry is sorry uh, hearsay i meant defense describe your reason for objection is again trying to describe the thoughts of someone else this objection will be sustained with this i'd like to remind you that you are not to give any statements on behalf of someone else unless they are your own yes sir uh can i continue you may continue yes so as i've stated that Dark humor is a way to kind of ease the tension in the room, uh, especially when you're in a room with people I've served with you. Uh, anyone can vouch for me on this. So I fully believe that that was just kind of to ease tension, you know, light and humor after a very stressful and scary scene that not many cops well, experience. Can say again, Your Honor. Objection is sustained. Witness, you are found in contempt. Sorry, of court. sorry, shit, sorry. Witness, you are being fined in contempt of court. Um, you may continue giving your statement. If there is another violation of court proceedings, you will be dismissed. Sorry, sir. Uh, someone moved my brain up. Uh, as I've said, uh, it's a way to just release any tension. Uh, you know, just Objection, here say again. He's still speaking to the thoughts of someone else. I'm speaking on my own behalf. Hold on, sir. I, I've instructed you that once an objection is made, you stop talking and allow it to be handled on the proper procedure. 
Could I have both attorneys approach the bench, please? Again, if you guys could flex your G down. So tell me, can you want to? No. Oh, just that what you said. Um, if the witness is found in contempt of court for the third time, this witness, in a ma in a merit of um, them providing their statement in the prosecution cross for defense side, will be dismissed, and the and the witness themselves will also be dismissed. Understandable, you wanna. Thank you. Uh, Your Honor, I'm going to withdraw my questioning uh, and be done with this witness, if that's alright. That is fine. Defense, would you like to redirect? Yes, I would, Your Honor. Okay, I would. Um... Would like to add one more thing. We are going to allow a redirect because I out because I asked for it. This witness is being recalled. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this witness, let me look at my notes. I believe the witness is being recalled for the yeah. possibility of perjury. If we could get to that point and make that point so we could move on with the case, please. Uh, yes, Your Honor. So the perjury came into question when he stated the amount of officers on scene at the time. Now... In the body cam footage, it shows six officers. The witness has stated there were only two. Okay, if you could hold that portion. So, the jury will be the ones to ultimately make the decision on whether or not he's a credible witness based on this. So, if you could hold that for your closing and just try to... Your position here is to try to convince the jury by making him answer the questions as opposed to testifying, if you don't mind. Yes, and Your Honor. Additionally, in stating that you may not sway the opinion of the jury in either side, if you're bound to be doing so, your uh, statement will be struck out of this case. Can we strike the last comment then, Your Honor? What grounds, prosecution? Uh, I believe that uh, it was in. I believe it was stating that uh, my client was not following the same story initially. Your Honor, that's why... Was that me? Urgent Gentlemen, sidebar, question. if we get you both to approach. Is that me? Are they talking about me? Because I did kind of stumble. If it was me, I'm going to cry on the inside. I did, I did stumble. This is why you don't do good in court. I need pre preparation time. I didn't get no, prep didn't time. I was about to uh, dismiss the witness myself. Defense uh, stated on the record, um, attorneys of record and I dismiss the witnesses before this. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, the witness is dismissed, sir. You are no longer required to change yourself for the court. You are welcome to stay in the lobby. However, you are no longer needed to testify. We appreciate you. Thank you, Your Honor. Defense, any additional um, evidence or witnesses? I'd like to go to the stand, Morgan Mitch. Uh, that is oh, not scratch, possible. Uh, sorry, Your Honor. Yep. Uh, no, then, in that case, Your Honor, I did not. All right, so we will yeah, move on at this point to closing arguments. We will start with the state prosecution. If you could approach and address the jury with your closing arguments. Sit your butt down, okay? Your Honor, uh, can we 
not question the suspects at all? No, sir. The suspects have a Fifth Amendment right to remain silent throughout the entire process, and we are not permitted, and which you should know, to require or request them to say anything. It's unprecedented and not legal, so we're not going to do that unless they decide they want to offer themselves, which they did not whenever the defense said he had no more witnesses. Sure thing. Thank you for that, Your Honor. I want to put him down. So, uh, members of jury, Your Honor, uh, as obviously we discussed earlier, um, this has happened on several occasions where the suspects had uh, committed several uh, sinister attacks, I would state, uh, against law enforcement, but also uh, bringing the very fabric of public safety and social Your Honor. order into questioning. I'm Hold one second. To allow the defense please allow prosecution to have a chance to state their closing argument. You'll have your chance. Obviously, with an officer being abducted during his uh, legal lawful duties, being disarmed because he was single, uh, single crewed, not being able to uh, call for any assistance, then tortured, having a uh, MN uh, symbol stamped or tattooed on his back, however you would uh, describe as. Uh, continuing then once they had been arrested and taken to a correctional facility, uh, the riot instigated and the death of still multiple officers happening inside uh, the Department of Corrections, uh, along with a potential bomb having been uh, planted. As I'm sure what you uh, will all have seen through the evidence that we have brought up and the uh, testimonies from the uh, witnesses that uh, there should be a beyond a reasonable doubt that uh, each defendant is guilty of the charges brought against them. Uh, and we would like to thank you for your time today. All right, sir, I appreciate that. You could return. And the defense, sir, your closing arguments, please. Of course, Your Honor. All right, uh, am I permitted to speak directly to the jury? Yes, sir. All right, Jerry, I'd like you to bear in mind that today the evidence that we have received on behalf of the law enforcement here is substantial at best. Um, it has been lacking in many areas, and in those areas that it is not lacking, I've clearly proven otherwise. There was no plate on the vehicle. The officer was under immense stress when he stated it was the vehicle. He was tortured, supposedly, which, if that is true, surely that would have affected his uh, chain of events. Now, as for the in the prison, we have heard here today many testimonies from the officers, and I think we can both agree that it sounds like it was more of an issue of they didn't actually need to be in the prison in the first place. Prisoners are entitled to yard time, that is what they were excising at that time. Um, during that yard time, they were interrupted. They had been in there uh, for a period of 900 months. I would like you to take into consideration the effect that would have on a person. And now they see officers coming in with weapons aimed at them whilst being hostile, stating they would like them to be killed whilst they are in custody of law enforcement. I believe it is yet again a case of negligence from the officers and essentially refusing to fulfill their duties as per the law. Now, due to this... I would like to ask that you take into consideration everything that the evidence has been thrown out of the park today by myself. And I have brought in new evidence from the testimonies that you've heard here today that the officers are contradicting each other. I think that goes to show that their stories may not be as it may seem. And that you take a look at my clients and decide for yourselves if you truly believe that they're capable of something like this. Bearing in mind there is no actual evidence against them, in my opinion. I truly hope you do the right thing here today. Nothing further, Your Honor. For your statement defense, defense, I'd like to remind you that in the closing arguments you may not provide statements that may sway the jury in either direction. Your Honor, I, uh, I don't believe I did so. I was only quoting the statements, or testimonies, sorry, that we've heard here today.
All right, so now that the closing arguments have concluded, jury, we are down to just the two of you, it appears. We're going to go over something pretty short before I release you to deliberate. Real quick, when you begin your deliberations, what I need is for you to elect one member of the jury as your foreperson who will preside over the deliberations and speak for you here in court. You will then discuss the case with your fellow juror to reach an agreement if you can do so. Your verdict, whether guilty or not guilty, must be unanimous, meaning you must agree on it. Each of you must decide the case for yourself, but you should do so only after you have considered all of the evidence, discussed it fully with the other juror, and listened to the views of your fellow juror. Do not be afraid to change your opinion if the discussion persuades you that you should, but do not come to, to, to a decision simply because other the other juror think it's right. It is important that you attempt to reach a unanimous verdict, but of course, if only if each of you can do so after having made your own conscientious decision. Do not change an honest belief about the weight and the effect of the evidence simply to reach a verdict. Perform these duties fairly and impartially. Do not, in, do not allow personal likes or dislikes, sympathy, prejudice, fear, or public opinion to influence you. You sh should also not be influenced by any person's race, color, religious beliefs, <laughs> national ancestry, sexual orientation, gender identity, gender or economic circumstances. Also, do not allow yourself to be influenced by personal likes or dislikes, sympathy, prejudice, fear, public opinion, or biases, including unconscious biases. Unconscious biases are stereotypes, attitudes, or preferences that other people may conscientiously reject, but may be expressed without unconscious aware, control, or intention. It is your duty as jurors to consult with one another and to deliberate with one another with a view towards reaching an agreement, if you can do so. During your deliberations, you should not hesitate to re-examine your own views and change your opinion if you become persuaded that it is wrong. Jury, do you have any questions prior to your deliberation? No, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. Okay. Can you, at this point, delegate one of you to be the foreperson? Okay. The court will pick for you. The foreperson... Uh, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Uh, I have um, uh, discussed with my fellow juror, and I will be the foreperson. Perfect. You are the foreperson. Here's what will happen. You guys have heard all the evidence. You guys are going to go back into the judge's chambers. We are going to recess. No one will leave the courthouse. We are going to recess and allow you to use our chambers for your deliberations. We will remain here in case you have any questions. The bailiff will be right outside the door. Knock on the door if you have any questions for us, or knock on the door if you have reached a conclusion. Do you have the list of charges available to you? Yes, Your Honor. All right, if you give me one second. If everybody could rise, please. Everyone in the court, please rise. Bailiff, if you could escort the jurors to our chambers for deliberations, please. Element. All righty. We will now be in a short reset of deliberations. Please do not leave the courthouse. You're excused. Oh, come on, really? I'll say, though, that's fair. Deputy. Hey, sir, in front of me, can you press your W muscle?
Uh, so with the suit, can you uh, please remove your sunglasses? Me? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, they should have been taken. They, these uh, are the no, show with the uh, tan colored suit. How can you please remove your sunglasses? Sure, man. Thank you. Hey, sir, with the black uh, jacket, can you press your W muscle for me, please? Bailiff, if you could do me another favor and uh, address the gentleman in the back with his cap on, please. Oh, yes. Uh, sir. Took way too much freaking effort just to get on the floor. Sir, if he pops back up, I'm killing him. Uh, can it, you please remove not that? Not gonna be killing him, I promise. I see the courtroom, please. You having fun? Very fun. Yes. All right, follow me back out. All right, make your excuse again. Court is now back in session. Jurors, have you reached your verdict? Mr. Four Person. Have you reached your verdict? We're now back on the record. I believe that the four person should uh, flex his G. My sincerest apologies. No worries. Have, have you have reached... reached a verdict? Perfect. If you could hand that verdict to my bailiff. And he will hand it to me. Five seven four to five eighty one. Go for five eighty one. Are we going to be transporting them back to the prison when we're done here? I believe so. I am not too sure though. Ten four. There you go. Mr. Four Person, have you guys reached a unanimous decision? Yes, we have, Your Honor. Is the paper we have in front of us true and accurate? Yes, Your Honor. Perfect. If you could take this back. I don't like this position very much in the room. I don't know why. I like Mr. the other one. Four Person, if you could please read your verdict. In the case of State versus Schmidt, Nobody, Dover, Fulman, and Fallens, we find all defendants not guilty what? on the uh, base of lack of evidence. Okay. At this time, we will retain all defendants in their current state. Myself and my partner are going to recess in chambers for just one moment before we finalize this. Oh, crap. Am I, am I oh. You should start running. I should. I, Jason, if I'm gonna like start to walking. I am going to come with you. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna start drive. walking. Have a good day, everyone. And let me out of these cuffs. Yeah. Press up, I'm gonna bro. grab my gun real quick. Like... Jason, come with us, sir. You please wait. Hold on. What? What doors did we come in through? I'm grabbing my gun. I don't feel safe anymore. <laughs> Alright, I'm good. You're like, I'm good. Well, I don't feel like dying because I just testimated like, like between yeah. people that killed multiple cops. I feel like something's gonna go down because they've been fire departments on the side right there. 
Man, if I knew this was going to come up in corp case, I would have cough cough kept my body cam footage. Uh, it's this way. Just stay out here, because uh, they don't want any big guns in there. Are they found not guilty or what? Huh? What's that? Uh, they were verdict uh, not guilty. Which that's the scary part. I'm gonna go stand at the next little DPS on your over here. Wow. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm staying out here, man. Safe house. Seven, seven zero one two. Seven zero one two. Seven zero one two. For what? Just call. Yes, call. No questions asked. Seven zero one two. Seven zero one two. Up in. Up in. Yep, we're leaving. What do you think is going to happen? Don't know, but we've just been ordered to go to 7012. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Dear god. What? Look in your brain chat. Good? I'm gonna keep the shotgun, Morgan. For mm. the zero one two, everybody. Um, I advise you not to go all the way to seven zero one two. We'll run into there. That's what. That's what I was thinking. So no. let's stay. Let's stay back. What is, and let's move in. What is seven zero one two? Seven zero one two. I'll mark. No, no, no. I have it marked up. I just. What is it? Like, is it a house? I don't know. I think it's a house. 574, can you, can we advise what, uh, the postal that we're going to is? Is it? All three are setting your vehicles here. So only three of us in here. Yeah, we're the only oh, three Jesus. Of course, you two. The ones that joined in <laughs> with my vehicle. <laughs> hey, SWAT, 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 SWAT. What are we going to? Yes. Like... The safe house is a safe house for Jason. Oh. Safe house for Jason. I'm so... I'm so ready. Right? I'm so lost. <laughs> I wasn't made aware of this. Neither was I. I just fucking... <laughs> no one was. Well, I guess they were, obviously. Somehow. Why do you think there's a bunch of Zulu units and fucking one RPO? Tick, tick. Can anyone 10 one up, in, up into Street's it's fine, office? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Ten, just go through. There's no one in Sheriff Jackson's office. Okay, love you, I'm keeping the shotgun. I'm keeping this M4A1 as well, that's mine. Hey, um, can we be dragged somewhere? Uh, we're in under Sheriff Case's office. Can we be dragged up to some other office with you guys? I think everybody's supposed to be in there, but we're not. No, it's just us three that just got out of my vehicle. I just realized I'm gonna go grab a vest. Yeah, I would. Don Sweeney. So what are we doing now? Uh, I'm not sure. Why do we transport him? Hey. Yes. Do we want to turn off lights so you know we know that or they yeah, know that we're lights. not here? Uh, 
today? Come on, Sam. What? Am I wrong? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> my aim, the best part about me is my 1080 driving. That is the best part. That is it. Nothing special about me. You need me in a shootout? Don't call for me. I will not save you. Not because I don't want to, but because Most I can't. Likely, <laughs> I won't fucking save you. I just fucking kill you the rest of the way. <laughs> Honestly, Seems I can legit. Out. <laughs> like, if I go to marksman training, I'm not gonna fucking be good at marksman training. Seems legit. It was nice, though, being in a whitelisted event like that where everyone was four mid or tight and. Yeah. Why is everyone running. walking to the back? I don't know. I'm following no them though. I'm just following them. I'm going. Oh, because it's an so... interior up here. That's cool. Oh god, as soon as we enter that interior, I feel like it's... <laughs> Wait, okay. is it right here? Okay. Nope. Up, 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 up. I've learned so much in the past two days about new interiors. Okay, this is awesome. I have to admit. Yeah. This is awesome. This was probably the best scene I've ever now done. Now why? Oh shit, you can go in this way too? What the I've hell? Been record oh, I've been recording for four hours. Oh, someone's already on the rooftop. Can't believe I've been recording for four hours. Oh, there's stairs right here just to get to it. That's legit. Oh, he's getting on the fucking roof roof. Oh, he he doing the hardcore stuff. I right. he's a marksman. I would go up there, but I don't want to get yelled at by a SWAT unit. Nah, you'd be All fine. Right. If he tells you to get down, then just get down. But it's nothing major. Uh, I'm gonna stay in here with you, SWAT. Uh, alongside him. Hey, sir. Do you really think you're gonna be uh be able to move very quickly inside that uniform? I'm fine. Um, I can go get a Maverick uniform if you want, or a standby. Is the Bearcat still here? Yeah. I was just trying to think of it. Hey, if we die. Can, 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 can you go grab me a, yep. a standby, please? Thank you. Grabbing a standby uniform for you for protecting. This is why I would love to be SWAT, so I can be a... You good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I just saw Morgan fall. Alright, here you go. Safe, Harrison. Just trying to get over the image. Don't miss them. Time to back up. Thank you. Don, if you wanna either just take your vehicle away, it's too obvious. Sam, by the way, we moved at the same time and did the same thing. What do you mean, same thing? Like, we both turned around at the same time, and our characters did the same thing, like swaying back and forth. That's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, stay, 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 stay there, stay there. I, I must move, yeah. They're the black. I will set you as past. Hey, how far how far away do you want me to move my vehicle? Vespucci PD, please. Just Where is that? You can wait. Hey firm, I'm back on scene. Come on. Time for I'm gonna be behind you. Towards the PD. Bro. I was there from the beginning, that's why I told you to stop.
Sun Fork, can someone advise me what building it is again? Sun Zero One Two. Five thirteen Zulu. Would it be better if we just headed uh, head back to the actual courthouse? Night time for a few ish. Send for to the sheriff unit outside. Make sure to move your vehicle far away from the house so that it's not noticeable. Five, Ten four. I'm gonna go back to courthouse. I don't gotta shoot anybody. Let's go. They got jailed. Wait, they got they jailed. <laughs> Why did they get yes, jailed? Yes, they got jailed. I got it. I got it. Your piece. Where are they getting? They've been found guilty. My partner just told me. Yes, they've been found guilty. Oh, get her done. A wet and sentence in. I'm keeping a shotgun. Oh, that's that. Yeah, you can you can keep that one. Just make. The... Anyways, since this uh place okay, is compromised earlier, yeah, uh, we're time. taking somewhere else. Can we get else? ready? Oh god. Five thirteen. They got prosecuted. What did he? Say? Ten four. Looks like judge overruled their decision at this time. What did he say, Nathan? Ten four. This place is compromised earlier. Mm, you wanna move this location? Mhm. Mm I mean, well, they're all jailed. I don't have anything to worry about now, right? Doesn't matter. And Andy has a shotgun. They, they have yeah, people I got a shotgun. Outside. Outside. It's it's a yeah. Yeah. Outside of the it's courtroom a doors. We could go it's up to right. Mr. Probably nobody. It could get yeah, Mr. Nobody. They could get yeah, fucking little okay. nobody. Everyone like that. They could have everyone against you. I don't know if you get even a more secure location, Jason. There is a location I do know of up in. I don't know if anyone was there the other day for the uh Do you think we can go to that federal facility we tried to yesterday? The three hour one? Nope. Are we not is that are we not able to? Because I mean we have state um nothing's blocked off now. We should nothing be was blocked off earlier. It was? And nothing was just statewide. It, it, it's uh, everything now. It's not really anything. Nothing's blocked. What bike yeah. could we take, Jason? You want to take him to the that, bunker in Polito? Yeah, that what one in the tunnel. Yeah, we spot, could do that. What about that one no. like military like thing in the middle of the ocean? I forget what it's called. Oh, the helicarrier? I'm bleeding again. I'm so confused. We could also go take him up to, uh, what the heck is that place called? Past the helicarrier. No, we can't. I've been told from many years ago, Peter, KO is owned by a... Oh. Um. Do we know? Uh. There's a spot down where freaking. Hang on, give me a sec. I'm gonna go on my phone for it. One zero one. There's a bunch of warehouses in like the ninety two seventies area. I think it's ten thousand forty and no, I'll go or ten thousand one hundred one, so... which has a secure area. There's a little room in a far back corner where we'd be able to keep them safe. Where we got a garage uh, up in Mike, you face, like, Polito, instead? or we got a house down in Los Santos near Grove Street ish ish. If the door is not going to hit in the hills. Yeah, oh, yeah, but there's that house up in the house, hills, too. I got one in the hills of 6116. If you need that. I'll go call us a car in. Yeah, there's one at 6067. If we want to use the one at 6067. 
So where am I going? Who am I shooting in the throat? No one, Jason. Oh man. Not yet. Don't get too excited yet. Well, I want to. I'm too bad. Am I going to the roof? Uh, I think therapist leave. I, who is calling Johnny on the spot? I hear you. It's, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh, I'm not stuck anymore. Oh my god, Johnny's fast. Yes, and if you want to get in the back. Fuck yeah. No. What? Get out of here. I, what, what am I supposed to ride then, huh? You're in with me. Call Johnny on the spot. Oh, I'm riding. Okay, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Perfect. You, you get the pickup. I, I, can I go in the trunk instead, please? No. No, you get the pickup. No, I can't move my eyeballs then. I don't care. Flex your F7. Oh, I did not know that worked. I'm okay with this now. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, that's the one issue I have, is I just can't move my eyeballs normally until now. Just flex your F7 muscle when you get in. You can. I'm happy with this. This BMW is sexy as fuck. Mm. Only a five hour recording later. Or body I'm cam footage. Still, my body cam's still on. You know, I, the I little hidden ones. Oh no, mine's I still going. Body cam. My so, body cam's still going. My body cam also heard the sound of pure pride come out of me. <laughs> Which Morgan can verify that. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> I know. I saw Morgan fall from a freaking rooftop. It was amazing. He didn't see anything, okay? Anything? It's body cam times two won't tell me. Nathan, do you happen to have a sniper rifle in the back? I do indeed. Can I use it? Uh -huh. I'm Probably certified. Not. Uh, it's bigger than your rifle. Oh. Uh, Size in Well. Do you have so, another but, rifle? So, but the only person I trust with a sniper rifle is me or Nathan. I don't trust you. Jason, not everything is related to size. Size doesn't make anything bigger. Or better, sorry. Mike? Besides the cat bullet. It was gonna yes. smack us in the face if we do not move like a little bit more. Oh, fair enough. Here. Oh! That also goes with other things. Well, depends. If it's too big, then you can't fit it. What happened? I can always fit it. No, because right, because forcing it just doesn't involve pain. What does a bullet do to your skin? Oh, I thought you were it talking penetrates. about something else. What? It, it, it penetrates. No, I thought you were talking about something else. No, oh, it's definitely it's correlating to that. Yeah, but that isn't penetrating like a bullet does. I'm getting told they got 24 months of community service. Well, I am fucking... You missed the road if you were trying to head up to that one story's house. It's up a street. Yeah, where was that? I lost it. I don't know where it was. There we go. It's... Take a left. That's the end, right? Did they get sentenced? They did yep. get sentenced. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Community service. That's dumb. Yeah. Freaking uh, team speak. Don't, hey, hold on, let me fix you. Only 24 months. 24 Ooh. months of community service. Who only get 24 months? Uh, they do. All of them. They get the 24 people? months of community service, yes. yes. That's what they were go, go. to. Wait, I thought they all got sentenced to all charges. What? Yes. Yeah, not. And because they've already all served 999, they got 24 months of fucking. Keep going. They haven't. They haven't. They, they were. No, whole, keep they driving. Were, no, so this they should oh, this have is... gotten community a month because they fucking. They were. They were. They didn't serve nine and nine. They were in holding cell until the trial. And the trial happened, and now they got. They finally got actually sentenced to nine and nine. So they should have got the nine and nine. First uh, suspect is beginning out of the courthouse at this time. Second one. Pretties. Cause they were still in jail, they didn't serve the entire 999, they were, they were in holding. Oh, they didn't no, serve the whole 999? The no, they, it, they didn't serve any sentences at all. at all, they were in there for holding until the trial. They were quote unquote held for trial, and the trials now happened. So if they got charged for all the charges, which added up to 999, they should have got the 999. Cause that's them actually getting sentenced to that. Stupid. I know. Jason, you wanna see if we can get some civil clothes? 
No, I like my oh, shotgun. There's... Okay, you can keep... No, he said civil clothes. Not civil shotgun. Can you unlock the brick head? Cool. If, I, if, I, if I get in civil clothes, can I keep my shotgun? I, have a can you I don't it? care, just get Nathan's right. approval. To go in civil clothes, I can't oh. give you approval. Well, I mean, I'll be fine. I don't have, like, I don't have a badge. I might actually have this. Hold on. Let me just go in this. Yeah. Yep, yeah, but isn't Miss Nobody gonna recognize you from the freaking mask up? I will be with him. Alright, so I'm gonna go uh, off duty and shank these people. I'm, I'm uh, I'll see y'all uh, later. Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. Um, body cam was rolling, but okay. Okay, so this is probably the most civ I can get. With still being. Oh, thirteen to the Zulu unit. You can go ahead and enter the uh, Bearcat. Okay. Okay. Yeah, where's Mookie? Where's Mookie? Off, but I like my shotgun. Uh, I can uh, go more civil. I need to fucking. I need to. Do I need to go any more civil? Jesus Christ! No, it's just me. And well, I fucked up. God damn. Uh, I'll swap yeah. units. Morgan. Uh, be safe, everybody. I'm ready. No, not Morgan. Sorry, Jason. Uh, I meant Jason, not Morgan. Sorry. You hurt my eyes with what you guys are doing. I meant to get my fucking. We're taking them back yeah, to the prison. Wanna come? Um, unfortunately, okay. cannot. And by so the way, my body cam is rolling. Uh, oh shoot! Put the prison in your <laughs> I got a shotgun. Ten four yeah, one on, stop. Just, so I can just take the badge off. Oh yeah. We'll, we'll I got go a make shotgun. sure they don't hurt you again. Listen, if they come here, yeah. they will fuck around and find out. And find out. Yeah, I agree. Listen, we got more. Right, I'm good. We got my shotgun. They try to come in here. <laughs> the, have you seen Ronnie McNutt? No, I've not seen Ronnie McNutt. Good. Oh. But is let's that, just say. Is that what's in your hand? No, let's just say. You're gonna something find happened. out. So, yeah. If if they come here, you'll find out what happened. I mean, no. But there's something a little bit different. Ronnie McNutt did it to himself. I'm gonna do it with my team. Gotcha. If you really want, I can tell you the video. <laughs> oh no, it's okay. I'm gonna go find them. All right, What's Jason. Uh, I'm just gonna. Cut, I'm gonna go cut an apple real quick. Uh, you wanna cut an apple? An orange, right. an orange. An orange? Yeah, you gonna take it downstairs? Do you like my shotgun? Mm, of course I do. Hey, uh, Morgan, can you let me know when uh, you're done changing so I can look in that direction? What the nearly done? Yeah, you can look. Right. You can look. Sorry, my body camera was getting tired of looking in a not very fun way. Five thirteen to the let's pick it in behind me. Please stop ramming the back end of my car. Possibly do you think I'm ten no, minutes? Just gonna... Ten four, just stay further back, thank you. Uh, everyone be a lookout yeah, for a from, man with longer hair, long spiky, and, and a beard. Uh, he's friends with all of them, so he I might like try and intercept him somewhere. Mm, you look like streets. Yeah, I, I can agree. Like, I'm gonna go downstairs and change. Everyone set crews at 60. Uh, here, I'm gonna hand you a uh, extra radio and earpiece I have on me. I have everything already. And you have everything? Okay. Are you in Assistant Chief of Police, RTL? Mm-mm. Uh, you should be dragged down. Or all of us should be in the... Convoy stop. Stop. Guess not. Stop. I think all of us should be in everything. I can just join. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. Leave me alone, sir. I beg of your forgiveness. Do you have a sni do you have the um shot the sniper? Morgan. 
Didn't he just mm -hmm. say that he doesn't trust you with that? I don't give a fuck. I 50 don't cal trust is a 50 you. Cal. Give me the uh, fucking Clear sniper. SNS at 25. I can get you 50 cal with that. Good advice. We're gonna have a black car coming up behind us. Is this correlated? Is that black car correlated? Ten what type? I'm not Ten sure. Ten for a tri block on mouth. They're, if they're on a, uh, they're transporting the penguin oh, yeah, jail, so they're most likely up in. Uh, bad advice. So if it's a BMW uh, X5. A hey, uh, unit stop. I ran out of gas. And bad advice. If it's a BMW X5, I believe the model is. That is gonna be a FBI agent umbrella. A seven four advice postal of where this is. Four zero zero two. Four zero zero two. So far, he stopped at this time. Five thirteen to all Zulu units that are stopped at four thousand two. Make sure that you're holding a perimeter. Get a quickly change. Stay down here. No. Just go back downstairs. Change. Go back downstairs. Like this. Motherfucker, I got a shotgun. You got an AR. Who's gonna win this? I will. <laughs> How did I trip of everything? Like what the heck? Say he comes now. Listen, listen. Yes, just, if it's an Aston Martin or BMW, it's officers. Ten for Umbrella's driving a AR. Blacked out BMW X5, I believe. You put a hole in your chest. It's not an X5. Bigger, it's a sports vehicle. No, I don't know. Well, it's a sports car. It'll be worth it. Fuck Keep it safe. Check, check these surroundings. You know what? I signed up to freaking die for you. Don't even. All units back up. Uh, let's go. Alright, so those units, let's move out. I oh, a spot. If one of you guys can switch up target. to the top of it and have your machine gun out at all times. Laser. I'll fucking tase the uh, Flip open the top. <laughs> <and> someone, <laughs> you know, I've only won once. One It'll once. Up, taser versus pistol. And I was having the taser. And I won cycle. once. Uh, Taco, don't go until. Um, Loses a shotgun, pieces. pulls out Turn taser, pulls out SMG. Right, I'll get you a huh? machine gun. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, I don't believe it will allow me to get the machine gun. <laughs> uh, you can't. Just oh, that's stay awesome. Up. That's pretty. Just stay up there. Alright, I'm uh, gonna just go and move back. That pistol was Thanks. very pretty. Wait, can you switch back to that? Oh, that's gorgeous. You told us to do this. Oh, hi, Morgan. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> you said you wanted to 50 cal. Absolutely. <laughs> Three five seven. That Hand it over. black vehicle just passed me. I was barricading him. Give me the SPR, motherfucker. For our unit, it's coming up behind us. Thing instead to get this weapon. If you know what I mean. I know. So give me the other one. Uh, 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 motherfucker, I'm certified. In the top. I still don't fucking trust you. Okay. Lethal force officer, they come close. What the fuck that you trust me? I'm sorry. Law enforcement are certified and out of state but you won't see up, them being able to do it make sure, lights and si make sure your lights and sirens go on and then, uh, you know one thing that like, confuses quick. me why the fuck does the sniper have a flashlight mm -hmm. oh it's really continue to block fact. the vehicle it's not really meant to be a flashlight you know them like bearcat when you uh, get here you guys are going to stand outside the prison lights, and then a couple of you guys are going to follow us inside mm -hmm. um yeah, line up on me and head. this other transport officer will take a less than lethal he's running my vehicle Yes, so. Morgan, let's put uh, let's put Jason downstairs. Uh, sounds like they're having uh, issues. Oh uh, uh, shit! If you can uh, pick your speeds up a little bit in the front. Jason, we need to go downstairs with you. They're having yeah, issues over there. Leave us uh, two SWAT units. You stay outside the gate and Just stay here. We're lethal. fine. Two, uh, one to two SWAT units. One okay. with the less lethal and yes, one with sure. the lethal okay. walk into the prison. With but us. don't does that mean crap? Five thirteen Zulu. Okay. I'm moving, making my way inside. I always be like this then. Five time four. One with shotgun. One SMG. One fully outside. automatic rifle. Yeah, Any steps inside the prison, they will Ellie be arrested. We're gonna have a civilian right outside the prison. Into in their head. That's bigger than. Time four. We need a couple units to also come here. Uh, please so you can grab one. Another SWAT unit. You can come grab one. We're gonna need a few gonna SWAT units to stand by while we hold yes. them. Unmarked. Good right. Yes. In instead of shooting us, like, like instead of shooting us with the airsoft rounds when you find us in the bush, you should have shot back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I shot you with fucking rail bullets. I well, forgot to change them. Well, Wait, well, you didn't shoot me, so I'm fine. Unit, start taking the suspects out. We're still, leaving us with one when we I'm stand outside. Five seven four. Can I get a updated it? situation? Is everything gonna be more cozy than shot previous? Uh, 10-2. 10-1. 10-1. 
Is it going to be more safer than a couple of minutes ago where the vehicle's ramming you? Can someone, can everyone please back away from me while I'm trying to get them out? You guys, you have to stand at the side. Back away from me while I try. I tried. I'm knocking like Nathan right now, okay? You have to let me get out of here first. Yeah, and I'm staying this luck. Chris, you have to stand on the sides of the vans too. It's just gonna shut as soon as they. Yeah, fuck yeah. Nice I'm gonna stay here and wait for him. You have don't to get him out yet. Don't get him out yet. I really want to go on duty. Okay, no, because if we need to need to emergency evacuate, you have to, evacuate, to, you have to go to the side to go on the of the van. I can just take off my badge and. I haven't been on duty in the past three fucking days. Boo hoo. You can just go on and let's get. I go on. I'm keeping the shotgun. Chris, you have to stand on the side of the uh, van. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, well, they're gonna fuck around and see Because it's not letting me do it. It doesn't matter. It's still not letting me do it. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Right, there we go. Cadet, and I'm, I'm looking, a cadet is gonna pull out There's a fucking one. shotgun on someone that fucked around and found out to me. I look, you want to ask Nathan if I have permission to keep a shotgun on or do This is an M4A1 assault. I'm pretty sure that's not how you press the type the spell. <laughs> oh. uh, I don't care. This is a 12 gauge bug. Okay, okay, it's, it's, it's 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the morning for me. My hearing, my hearing aids died, hold on. Uh, where's the fourth one at? Where's all of them at? So it's 2.30 in the, my state, you probably if you went, know you what probably I mean. probably got teleported. Oh, I mean. Yeah. Inside, probably. So you need to get a better car by my floor, I'm sorry. I turned I'm my... sorry, I'm not special like you. I turned my hearing aids uh, back on. You want to know how to get it? 